Good morning. It's Monday morning, and I promise you will not hear Hannah whittering in my ear or saying expletives this morning. Anyway, if you missed that, then we had a few issues on Friday, and, and Hannah, you could all hear. I couldn't hear Hannah, but you all could. So, anyway, how are you? How are you? It's Monday morning. It was freezing this morning. Do you know what was really odd this morning? I went out to my car, and only half of it was frozen, as in... The passenger side was all frozen up the window, over the roof and down the back. And then my side was completely clear. And it's parked in exactly the same place it's always parked in. Weird. Anyway, I set off thinking it'll be fine. And I got halfway through the village and the whole car froze up. So I had to stop anyway and de-ice myself later on. Anyway, shall we have a look? Shall we have a look at today's menu? It promises to be a very exciting show today. Uh, stylish tote bags with Amanda White. A riot of colour. Oh, no, I told you on Friday that we had... A riot with Wyatt, didn't we? And I, that, that's, that was a load of rubbish. We didn't have that at all. A riot of colour with John. A uh, stunning jersey dress. That will be lovely when it's made, won't it, Amanda? At 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we have John's workroom essentials. Now, at this point, I normally go, we've got this and we've got this. Poor old, there's been a, a bit of an issue with deliveries and everything like that. Poor old Amanda didn't get the fabric for the dress, so she's been in since 6 o'clock trying to run a dress up, trying to run a bag up and everything like that. So she's a trooper, a trooper that she is. What I love is she's like, oh, I've got no time, I've got no time. Walks in, she's bouffanted her hair, she's done a lippy and everything like that. So, you know, we're fine. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about getting in touch, first of all, before I talk about the competition. If you want to get in touch, the best way to do that is on our website. You go to www.sayingquarter.com. You click on watch the show live. You do need to log in. And there you see... Oh, there's me doing a funny little dance then. <laughs> um, so what you do is you just scroll down the page a little bit. See that box on the right-hand side that says Message to Studio? You write a short note in there. Now, I say this every day. At your end, you can write a really, really, really long uh, message, but at our end, it cuts you off after 140 uh, letters. Uh, while we're there, if we just scroll down the page, you'll see products from today's show. They're all the pieces that Natasha had yesterday. <clears throat> but in a minute, all of those will disappear. And all of the fabrics and the bundles and the patterns and the workroom essentials that I have on my show will appear there. Um, when they're sold out, they will disappear from there. So if you're watching later or you're watching repeat later on, um, if you want to have a look what's still available, it'll be listed down there. Also, while the show is live, you see there the prim silver colored chain back handle loop Victoria. Uh, that's an interesting photo, isn't it? Um, when I'm doing a live show, a live auction, the item will appear in there. You can click on there, put it in your basket, and then what you need to do is you make sure you check out. Now, you can check out as many times as you like, uh, but you only pay one post of packaging for the whole day. So that's fantastic, isn't it? £2.95 for the whole, whole day. So if you see something in this 8 o'clock show, you like it, check it out. Uh, and then, and then uh, basically, you can... Um, uh, I've lost my thread, lost my thread. See something you like later on, you can just uh, click on there. I don't know what I was doing, where I went then. Anyway, 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 um, if you want to send in pictures or you want to send in um, longer email, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. I'm sorry I lost my, uh, lost my um, thread then, didn't I? But anyway, thread. Now, we've got a competition. We've got a competition. It'll appear there in a secondo. There you go. Birthday block bonanza. It's our birthday on the 31st of January. We're one year old. And we're doing a, a we're gonna do lots and lots of different things, but one thing we are doing is a competition, a quilt competition. What we'd love you to do is design and make your own block. Don't quilt it. Don't um, back it, don't finish it. It needs to be 12 inches finished, so you need to send it in 12 and a half inches so that we can make it into a quilt. You can't have it back. You will not get it back afterwards because it's going to be sewn into a quilt. There will be winners chosen by a panel uh, of five judges, apparently, and there will be, th uh, I don't know if it's three or four um, prizes. Has to be in by the 20th of January. So what day is it today? About the 8th, is it? 9th? Eight. So you've got 12 days, haven't you? Need to get it in. The address to send it to and all the terms and conditions are on the website. You need to go to the front page of the website, scroll down to the bottom there, and the address of where you need to send it to and everything like that is in there. Now, it could be applique, it can be um, um, patchwork, it could be whatever you want it to be. I know some are already on their way because people have sent me pictures, the ones they're sending in. I have no, I have no sway in the judgment, by the way. So, you know, I, I don't, don't, don't be sending me, you know sweets or anything to try and get me to vote for yours. Um, you can send sweets to Hannah, but she's not on the, on the panel. She'll just, she'll just eat the sweets. Uh, anyway, anyway, I think that's it. Is that it? Is that it? Is that everything over there? Right. Bags. Isn't this cute, right? 
Isn't this cute? Uh, Amanda, the, uh, she's the Jersey, Jersey dress queen, isn't she? And she's the bag queen. Uh, this is such a gorgeous little tote bag, isn't it? This one's made of PU, obviously. And uh, a linen, uh, a canvas fabric, sorry. A canvas fabric. Uh, so we've got five bundles for you to choose from. Uh, okay, let's do the bundles first. So the one you've just seen there is this one here. Now, you saw it had silver PU. Silver PU. Oh, this is called Twilight, apparently, this one. So you get a metre of the uh, PU. You've got a metre of, like, the lilac spot-on uh, canvas fabric. Lin it's linen look, linen look uh, fabric. There it is. So that was the PU, silver PU. That was the uh, linen look uh, spot fabric. And then you also get a metre of the Mercury uh, Macau. And you get the thread. Now, you don't get that thread. Ignore that thread there. There you go, 28 pounds and 49 pence, right? Now, the one that Amanda's going to be making is beige. Beige. So now you get the Biscuit Beige PU, one metre. You get the Biscuit Beige PU, one metre. You get the um, Macau uh, Beige solid there. And you get the Cotton Canvas in beige. Now, they are, in real life, they are different tones. They're always looking like on your telly. Plus, you get the thread. £27.99. pence. There's all of them together. Oh, there, you can see the difference there. So, beige, you're going to go with everything, isn't it? You can wear that with any colour you like. OK. They'll go with Hannah's new coat, apparently. Oh, yes. Could go with my new winter coat as well, except I won't be carrying a tote bag, Hannah. Right. Then we've got this one here, which is a really, really gorgeous. I'm presuming this one's called Olive. This is Olive. So what it is, you get a metre of the Olive um, linen look canvas. You get a metre of the Ecru uh, uh, Macau. And you get a metre of the... Oh, that's called Ecru as well. They're both Ecru. Both Ecru cotton canvas there. There's bundle plus the thread. Uh, £23.49. and pence. Then I've got flamingos. We like this one. So you get a metre of the uh, linen look canvas. Heavy cotton, this one is, heavy cotton. Uh, so you get a metre of the flamingos. You get a metre of the blue, duck egg blue. And you get a metre of the duck egg blue. Uh, sorry? Oh, that's duck egg, that's pale, sorry. There you go. But they're, they're all lovely, aren't they? Mitra, you get all them all anyway, it doesn't matter what they're called. And the thread for £28.49. And, and then for the more vivacious, a lot of choice, more vivacious, vivacious amongst you, we've got the Fuchsia bundle. And in the Fuchsia bundle, you get the Elephant Grey um, PU, one metre. You get the Fuchsia Macau solid there, one metre. And you get this lovely uh, linen look canvas, one metre in the future again, and the thread, £27.99. So there are your five bundles. There's the last one there. Now I've got the pattern to do. Just got the pattern to do. Now the pattern here, four different types of bag you can make here. Oh, well, actually, no, it's two different types. No, no, four, four different, two different types, two different sizes. Two, two different types, for two different sizes. I'll show you the back in a second. £7.99. Hannah wants to be this lady here. Oh, hang on, I can't see the letters from here. Where's B? Is that B? Why do you want to be that lady? Isn't it the same lady? Oh, well, OK. And there's, the, um, there's the, uh, all the instructions on the back there. OK, £7.99. Have a look at the bag. Have a look at the bag Amanda's made. OK. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Uh, mm, oh, yes, of course. And the same to you. How are you? Now, how come you talk to... Oh, they're not flat. I thought you had little <laughs> wellies on, but they're, they're great big wedge boots, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, I want to say I'm sorry about all the delivery and, you know, thank goodness you're such a trooper for coming in and just getting Things down happen. and getting on with it. This happens. Right. So we're going to make the bag and we're going to do it in the beige, aren't we? We are. Yeah. Is it quite a simple project? Yes. Yeah. Like anything, when I always say with bags, it's the methodical aspect of just setting out 
what you're going to do in contrast, where you need your interfacings. So it's just set, setting your stall out to start with. Do you really. normally wear glasses? Yeah. Are they different glasses? They're new glasses. They're yes. lovely. Thank you. But I'd, I'd never, I don't think I'd notice you wearing glasses. Look like Harry Potter. <laughs> well, no, look, you look like me. Oh. No, you look like me. <laughs> it's two for one. Yeah, hardly. <laughs> right, okay, let's make a bag then. Okay. Right. So, pattern pieces, <clears throat> uh, it, and you say it's getting organised with all the pattern pieces and the cutting yeah, out, really. Yeah, it's just sort of like ticking off what you need. So, yeah. on the, the instruction sheet, it was just sort of like going down and going, right, I'm doing D. I need all those pieces and they all go in numerical order as well. And then the nice thing about it is then the, that numerical order then goes together. So I've sort of put one side of the bag together, but that's sort of pieces 16 and 17, go on number 18, and you just sort of like work through. So it's an those. easy to follow pattern. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we've made it a couple of times. So I've done various yes. aspects. It was the first time that I did this um, handle. Yes. Um, and I think if you were a real beginner, I would stay away from this hand handle version to start with oh, okay. and then work up to it. It's just that little bit sort of, it's just a little bit different, that's all. Whereas right. with the straight, just with the, having the curves, um, whereas oh, we've yeah, so done the A straight and B, one before. I've just got straight, straight handles. I've just got straight handles. Yeah. Whereas oh, C and D have got this kind of the keyhole, curve. almost like a keyhole, keyhole. handle, isn't yeah. it really? So I, would, I think I would say, you know, go with it it's a brilliant pattern and you can do lots of, I think I've done A and B twice. Yes. Um, so yeah, I would start with that one and then just work up because then you'll get to know the pattern and the assembly and of the course, construction. Yeah. So it'd be a lot easier. Right. So I've started prepping the lining. I, whenever I do bag construction, I always tend to sort of start with the lining. Oh, okay. um, I don't always sort of follow the pattern instructions, but obviously at home, if you're doing it, then yeah follow them through but yes. I generally tend to start with the the lining um so got a stray thread there so it's got a pocket on the front right it has two <coughs> dart areas just so then you can then create this roomier sort of pocket a deeper pocket, pocket yes. yeah so for phones or keys things like that yeah. I've double stitched around on the top stitch That's so we're coming, it, we're coming in to see you now okay so what I generally tend to do as well, any top stitching, if I'm doing a double row, I will start on the furthest one in. It will anchor the, the piece down and then... Oh, do you don't it. start on the edge one first? No, then. no. Oh, okay. if, you ever, if you try to do the edge one first, you tend to find that there's a little bit of movement. So just get your fabric actually anchored down first and then edge it round afterwards. Okay? Okay. So it's got a facing. Yes. And it's got its bottom piece, the actual bag lining. Apparently, most of your bag's looking a little bit lost. A bit here, saggy. So. Okay. I'll put my sewing quarter box in. Carry on, you carry on. So, we attach the face into the top pieces of the lining once you've actually put your pocket on. <coughs> oh, all right, there. Yeah, I'll probably be through it then. So, I've pinned down. So, we're now going to actually sort of sew down the sides and across the bottom. Yeah. Again, just to actually, what I always sort of suggest, so when we're matching up, the facings and we want a straight line just based across those two areas just to double check that they haven't moved in any way yes exactly and then oh hang on we didn't see we didn't see that so <coughs> oh you're right do you want to get some water oh have i <laughs> uh, can we get some water please uh, uh so what so what you did was you bait you baked, I haven't yeah I was no, gonna, no yeah you're gonna base gonna, across yeah just where the seams meet meets. there just to show you because we didn't get catch earlier so there's the seam there so you based across there so when you come sew the whole bag together, you know that the, the seam won't move because you obviously want it to match inside inside there. Yeah, just see, so just looks a bit smarter. Yes, exactly. Can I just say the beige okay. is the most popular so far by a long okay. way. Right. It's nice and stylish, and it's going to go with anything well, I was gonna as say well. You can put it with absolutely yeah. anything, can't you? Okay. So a based in stitch is always it's sort of like a the, the a machine version of hand tacking. You yeah, can we not have a nice little glass? Is that man's got to have a sippy cup? I'm never going to get my mouth around one of them. <laughs> no, get, get, get one of the little glass. Also, while you're in the fridge, you can get mine as well, please. <laughs> They're supposed to be for kids and I can't work them out. No, I can't work them out. Either, but we have to, <laughs> upstairs, where all the expensive equipment is, they have to have what, that, that children's sippy cups, you know, the ones with rubber on top. Uh, do you not have one, Timothy? 
They're meant to, but Timothy refuses to because he can't work one either. Um, <laughs> anyway, Hannah, it's just, well, Hannah and Hayley have them because every day I hear, Boom. oh, sorry, that's my girl. I've just knocked my cup of tea over. So it's just as well they have the sippy cups. Right. OK, so I just basted it into place. And as I was saying, a basting stitch on a machine is a machine version of hand tacking. Yes. So we pay, put it onto the longest stitch possible. And you can always just turn your thread tension down a little bit, and that way it'll come out a lot easier oh, as really? well. Yeah. I didn't know that. So you normally on the Alnas, you're normally on a four, but most machines you're oh, probably just coming in now. Where was, where was it? You just um. Oh, so normally your thread tension is on a oh. number four or a five. There you go. Yeah, and it will be actually highlighted on the machine. If I sort of turn that around a little bit, it'll yeah. actually be highlighted with a little black square or. It will just be darker um, print on it. So I'm just going to turn it down to a two, and that just slackens off the thread tension. OK. You've got to remember to put it back, haven't you, when yeah. you come to do your main sewing? Yeah, it's quite easy to forget to do that. I do that quite often. OK. So we just check those through. So, yeah, okay, I'm pretty perfect. happy with those. So you've done it within the seam allowance, haven't you? Yep, yeah, yeah, actually on the same the seam allowance, and I'll just then actually um, stitch over it. Okay. So we take the stitch length back down to normal, put, put the thread back. tension back, and then we can go down those areas. Oh, the pattern piece just got wafted onto breath. the floor. Yeah. So seam allowances are five-eighths on the pattern. which is quite, quite unusual, but it's quite handy because normally five eighths, one and a half centimetres yeah. is a dressmaking seam allowance. And is, this, is it by a, oh, it's by butter. Mm. But it's a butterick one, so yes. I think that's why they just sort of kept everything standard with their yes, patterns. Exactly. But again, it's quite, it is good um, when you are sort of just sort of starting off because it is easier to, when you're working with a slightly larger seam allowance. Okay, now I've got to warn you, um, the beige bundle is absolutely flying out already. We're only 18 minutes into the show and already there's less than 20 of the beige bundle left. So if you want the beige bundle, you do need to put it in your basket or check out. Now remember, if you're a new customer, just putting it in your basket, there it is, just putting it in your basket does not guarantee that you've got it. It's the check it, which is why we brought that rule in, that you can check out as often as you like. It's not yours until you've either checked out or you've spoken to the call centre. Right, I've got a message from a customer. Hello, John, I love your sexy shirt. Ooh. Is it the shirt or is it what's in it? <laughs> uh, where do you get them from? They're Claudio Lugli. They're all by a, a company called Claudio Lugli. Other shirts are available. We've had an email from M. What, but James Bond's M? Oh, M, E, M, Emily, yeah, right. I thought you meant the initial. She's loving the shows. It's her first day off in ages, so she's watching after the Christmas and her daughter's birthday, exams. Oh, another Christmas birthday. Okay, for, oh, my word, you have had a busy time, Em. You sit down, get your cup of tea, and you just enjoy watching the experts at it. Or the experts, I've only got one expert today. Uh, what well, do you need the ironing board? Okay, no, I'm no? fine on this one. Right, so we've put the three sides together on the lining. Yep. We're then going to create the corners, the well, box, box corners. Bottom, yeah. yeah, just that gives it that little bit of depth. This bit across the bottom here. So it make, gives the bag a, an actual bottom. Yeah. OK, so you simply do that by taking your, the base seam and the side seam, matching those up. We can pin those so together. what they've done is they've actually already, they've already cut, cut, cut it out, haven't they? Yeah. Which what you can do if you've just got a normal seam is diagonally sew across the seam and then cut it off and you get the same effect. That's right. And then it's just remembering to do a little bit of reverse stitch at the beginning and at the end. But as a dressmaker, don't you automatically do reverse stitch? Because lots of the quilting ladies don't do a reverse stitch because they know it's going to go into another seam. But as a dressmaker, I would automatically do reverse at the, at the beginning and end of every seam. It's just part of my... I don't know what, um, you know. Yeah. You obviously don't. Um, no. Yeah, I was going to say not always. No, I don't. If it's if I know that it's going to go into an intersection seam, then no, I don't bother. Yeah, OK. I think it's just that I, we, uh, that's why I was trained. So I, I, it's an automatic. Backwards, yeah. forwards, finish, backwards, forwards. 
Okay, so that's the one. So again, bottom seam. Jill says, morning, John and Amanda. Lovely bag and a start to Monday. Amanda, your top looks fabulous. Did you make it? Of course. Of course, yes. It's my hipster rabbits, my hipster bunnies. I love them. We don't, we don't sell the fabric here. And I've sold out of it as well. Oh, OK. <laughs> and on our website, but we are getting some of the All right, all right. Similar Plug your shop, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, what we, I mean, basically, Amanda, I'll just say it very quickly. Amanda's got her own shop, and her ethos is she buys it. When it's gone, it's gone. That's your ethos, isn't it? It is, yeah. There's too many other beautiful fabrics out there to keep stocking the same stuff. But eventually, because we at the moment, we've got some lovely Ponte Roma jerseys, but we haven't got um, fabrics like that yet. Yet, Amanda, yet. Yet. But we will have. When we get, the, you know, we will have. Yeah. Is, it from a, is it from a pattern or is it from, um, did you, is it just one you made up? No, yeah, it is a pattern. Okay. Um, yeah, it's one of the independents. There we go. Right, so that is our bag lining. Perfect. Through there. Okay. So and you've got water in your trolley, apparently, if you want some. Oh, brilliant. Thank yeah. you ever so. Well, actually, in a minute, what I'll do is in a second, I'll go and do um, bundles oh, and then it. you can have a slurpy water. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I can tend to like to get the, the lining done and it's kind of like, yep. Yes. I feel as though I'm sort of like progressing so that, quite well. So that's the same. That shape is the same as the main bag, yep. but that's your lining with the facing in the PU, and yeah. then the obviously the pocket's not going to go on the main bag there. There's not a pocket on the other side, just one on that side. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is now the side piece that I've already prepped. So this with is, the pocket here. Yeah. This side pocket area. Okay. Through there. Okay. This is the twilight bundle that I'm holding there. That's the beige bundle that uh, Amanda's holding. Okay, so you make the pocket, pocket first. first. Yeah, so inside, okay, there is a facing and a lining. Right. Okay, so this is where you can get creative. So you're actually putting, I think it's pattern pieces 16 and 17 right. together. Again, 5 8 seam allowance straight across the top. These look like lovely fabrics to work with because you, you kind of think, oh, it's a cotton canvas, a linen effect, and a PU, and a Macau solid. But they all work together really well, they? do, don't they? yeah, they go together really nicely. And a couple of the pattern pieces you interface as well. Say that again, sorry, I missed that. There's a couple of the pattern pieces that you do interface oh, okay. as well. I shall sort of come, like, to, come to those. So stitch across there, Yeah. okay? And then we can just press that into place it's still got some of the... Would you like the iron on? Would you like the iron now, I did then? put it on earlier. Yeah, OK. Is that possible? No, no, we're, no, no, there's no PU on here. Look, there's, it's, no. We're just uh, pressing out the, the creases from the fabric and the and seam. And the seam. Yeah. OK. But the PU is absolutely fine to um, press as long as you do it on the back of it. Because that's the viscose side, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a couple of the PU sections that do need interfacing. So again, I've pressed onto those. I'm just pressing this normally, am I? Yeah, please? lovely. Thank you. That's right. My lovely assistant. You're doing what? I said, my lovely assistant will press for <laughs> Well, your ancient, decrepit <laughs> assistant. It looks like... Um, now, what's the designer that use a dog's face as their... Um, as their logo. Look, you'll see it. Like, they use a French bulldog for, like that. Hang on, look. You know, there's a... Fa well, I'm seeing things. There's a fashion <laughs> launch you that do... If squinting, <laughs> it's a different angle. It's what? <laughs> if you squint and close your eyes from... <laughs> yeah. Well, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Obviously, my ending wasn't good enough. No, that was the, the underneath piece. OK, so we've now got pattern piece 18, yep. which is the front piece of the, the pocket. Right. So we put right sides together. See that one? How can you tell which is the right side on that? On the weave. One? Oh, yes, definitely. It's got a... a yeah. Map. Yes. That's your camera, that's your... And the fact that I knew that I cut it all out with the right side out and the, 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 the crease was still facing me. Oh, yes, me. of course. <laughs> um, now, I, um, I, I don't want to add any undue pressure, but the beige bundle is down to single figures now. You're loving the beige bundle. Have a look at the bundle quickly. There it is. Metre of each fabric. Yeah, metre of the PU, a metre of the Macau lining. Uh, well, it's not lining, it's in Macau solid. And a metre of the uh, linen look canvas. 
Morning, John and Amanda. Been looking forward to today's shows with Amanda. Made my first bag last week. Love the show as always. Love Lucy. Oh, well That's done, nice, Lucy. Send us a picture of your bag. Oh, yeah, send us a picture, Lucy, of your bag. Email, you have to email that in then. Here's the email address very quickly for you. Studio at samequarter.com. There is something quite rewarding about doing a bag. Do what, what? It's quite rewarding doing a bag. It's sort of like a project that you can get going on. Could you get this one done in like an afternoon then, or was it a bit longer than that? Probably... A little bit longer. I mean, so yeah, you just run I one did. Up the top. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, you have to sort of like take into, you know, depend where you are on your sewing journey, really. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I think because I've done this pattern, this thing's probably about the fourth time. Yeah. I've got. A good and idea. also, if you've not done the pattern before, you've got to read the whole pattern first. Yeah. Before you start cutting out. Yeah. yeah. Cup of right. tea, sit down, or a bit of nighttime reading. Take it to bed. I always take my pattern pieces to bed. And oh, I'm like, yeah, and oh, I'm like, good <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what are you doing now? Okay, so we've joined the two facings. Yeah. So we're now going to turn them to the wrong sides to face. Yeah. And we're going to press again, if that's okay. If I can. Now, you can trim down. Which will help oh, that sorry, curve. Oh, sorry, move the bag. You can trim the, the seam allowance down to sort of halfway, which will help the, the curve a little bit. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, there we go. There OK. Go. Yeah. Make sure those corners come right out. No cake today, Simon not sent a cake in today. No, he hasn't. Mind you, after everything I've munch my way through over Christmas. I just can't be doing with cake anymore. Well, I've really got to start. Although I always think it's too hard in January to actually diet and yeah, exactly. cut down because there's so many leftovers. <laughs> You're bought too much in the first place, that's why. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's just, oh, there's chocolates. Oh. And, mm, and the Christmas pudding last week. Last week? Yeah, I could never eat Christmas pudding on Christmas Day. I'm just it's too full, full yeah, exactly. of everything. <laughs> And I'm the only one in our house that eats it. So you just cooked it for yourself last week. So we had a, I had a great big one and just basically a bit of a... Pick. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in two albums. It was yeah. just... Oh, Hannah's going, she had a whole Christmas pudding. <laughs> <laughs> it's fruit and slow gin. It was lovely. Oh, did you make it yourself? No, no. It was a Heston Blumenthal one. He does all funny ones, doesn't he? It was, it was gorgeous. It was yummy. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just top stitch around okay. that top. So top stitching always lengthen up your stitch length. So I've gone for a three and a half, and I'm going to do it on a skinny quarter inch, just lining up the edge of the presser foot with the edge of the fabric, so you've got a good marker. And your tension's normal, isn't it? Back to normal now. Everything's back to normal, yeah. Just a longer stitch then. Are you only doing, are you doing, only doing one line of stitch on that? It's not your double like you did with your pocket? Or you can... Yeah, it's just one length, uh, just one line. You could do double if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, Marcia, morning all, nice to see you. I missed you last Friday and the programme is not on YouTube. Marty, I think the, th the th last three hours are meant to be there. I'll get Timothy to check. But the last three hours, oh, apparently none of it's there. A part of, they're sorting it out at the moment. They've had to delete Hannah, you see, some, for some reason. They're sorting it out now. And Ruth's got a question. Please can Amanda explain how to work out the right side of the fabric by the weave? I love sewing quarter from Ruth. Yeah, no I problem. Will you be able to see it on the telly? Because um, if we do you want me to get the fabric? Of, yeah, Wait there. If, even if it's a solid or obviously the canvas one. Okay, so when you've got your fabrics, always look at your salvage line, your salvage edge. I'll take the PU away because that's not that you can tell which is the, even I can tell which is the right <laughs> side of the PU. Right. Okay, so your salvage edge. Okay. Now I don't know whether it's going to sort of. Pick You're going to have up. to point it to that camera. If you wear Tom, we need to point it towards okay. the camera. So you salvage edge through 
and if you run your fingers along it, okay, you can actually feel that the, this top side is a lot smoother. You've got these perforated holes, so it's a lot smoother. And underneath, you can feel where it's punched, been punched through, and it's rougher, okay? And if you actually look at the weave, you'll see that it's slightly smoother. It's not an ideal one. So on the Macau solid, it doesn't matter so much, but we're just showing it because it's the same on all fabrics. Fabric, on the same yeah. woven fabric. We look on the linen look one as well. It's the same on um, sort of like Pont Roma, you know, any of the fabrics. Always look at your salvage edge, okay? So here again, it's very smooth. And on the back, it's just got a rougher texture. And when you sort of really look back on it, this has got a slightly softer sheen on the front, whereas on this side, the weave is just that little bit rougher and more dull. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's nothing to say that you can't use. If you prefer this side, you could use that as long as you're keeping each pattern piece the same. The yes. same. Yeah. Okay. So, again, some patterns will actually sort of show the, the pattern layout with the right sides of the fabric folded together and you cut out. My personal preference is always to put the wrong sides of the fabric together when you're cutting out your double. Um, just, if you have got a pattern, you can see if your pattern's straight, you can see where your pattern, pattern placement's going to be as well. So that's my personal preference, is always to have the, the print facing outwards. But when you've got um, a plain one, again, decide which way is going to be the right side, choose your, per, your preferred method, Put your pattern pieces on and then don't take your pattern pieces off until you're ready to use them or when you have started using them just put either a safety pin or a bit of a ribbon or something like that or even your chalk mark on the wrong side so everything is constant so each time exactly. you pick it up then you know which side you're, you're working with okay we've sort of come to a natural break now okay. i'm just going to do bundles you have your drink of water and then okay. I'll, I'll be back no and i'll take the pattern with me so ruth i hope that answered your question my love no, it's very informative. She knows what she's talking about, this one. Right, beige bundle to start with. As I say, less than 10 single figures of this one. So you get a metre of the PU, a metre of the beige uh, Macawa, and a metre of the uh, linen look uh, fabric, canvas. 20, and the thread, £27.99. pence. Be quick, be nimble with that one, apparently. Right, th then I've got... Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. That's the saying, isn't it? Right, okay. Also, nimble, when I was younger, wasn't nimble a slimming bread? Hannah's at Slimming World again. I think nimble was a slimming bread. You know, so. <laughs> twilight, this is the twilight one. This one, you get the silver PU, you get the lilac uh, canvas linen effect and the mercury um, Macau solid, and you get the thread. Lots of you with that in the basket. And that's what uh, Amanda used to make the, the finished one on the table. There's the finished one. Then I'm moving on to olive. Again, you get three metres of fabric. You get a metre of the olive spot. You get a metre of the ecru uh, macaua, metre of the ecru uh, linen effect canvas and the thread. £23.49, and pence. that's the olive one there. Very limited on the olive one. Right, and then we've got this one here, which is the flamingo one. This is the heavy cotton, this one. Heavy cotton, they call this one. Again, it's got that linen effect. Uh, canvas effect, sorry, not linen, canvas effect. Uh, £28.49, you get a metre of that. You get a metre of the pale blue and you get a metre of the duck egg blue in the um, canvas linen effect and the uh, thread. £28.49. pence. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got fuchsia. So this one, you get a metre of the elephant grey. You get a metre of the fuchsia Macau solid. Second most popular at the moment, I'm not surprised. And then a metre of the um, linen effect canvas, uh, also in the fuchsia, plus the thread, £27.99. pence. lot of fabric. I'll ask Amanda, I'm sure you must have lots left over when you finish the bag. You can't use all three metres, I'm sure of that. Um, and then the pattern, I'll show you the pattern. There's the pattern. Can you see, can you get that? Yeah. 
I'll fold this while you look at the pattern. There's the pattern. Uh, f uh, two different kinds of bags in two different sizes and stylings. Um, £7.99. £7.99 and pence. It's a butterick. Now, uh, uh, if you're new to it, Amanda says do these two... Oh, sorry. Do the ones there two at the bottom first, if you're going to either of the ones at the bottom first, because it's just a straightforward, straight strap. But if we just... Can you just pan up to the one at the top? The one at the top has got like a keyhole uh, handle, which is slightly, not, not difficult, but it's slightly more tricky than just a straight uh, strap. Okay? Yes. Right. Uh, did you have much fabric left over? Uh, yeah, there is uh, a fair bit, especially, um, again, sort of a bit of a tip. When you are um, cutting out, obviously the fabric will come sort of folded and you naturally... Um, it's folded in half and you've got to cut pattern pieces on the, the fold. And I do sort of see a lot of people go straight to sort of just plopping on the, the pattern piece right in the middle. Yeah. Um, but if you actually fold in the salvage edge just a small amount, use that as your fold piece and work in that way, that way you'll sort of like really be economical with your fabric exactly. and you, you'll have plenty then to, to do some other projects as well. Keep it in your stash. So now, do you have a fabric stash at home or is it all in the shop? I do have a, a stash at home. Um, obviously, stuff that I'd bought before we had the shop. Yeah. Um, and I sort of, yeah, I haven't sewn anything from it for quite a while, really. Because you just keep nicking all the new stuff from the shop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I can't bear to part with it either, no. so I'm like, no. Nah. Right. Okay, right, so I've just literally basted on the, the, pocket. the pocket front okay so what i did is always baste it on at the bottom first and then work up the sides okay obviously you're going to get a little bit of movement and if you do if you do get a bit of movement you're going to end up with like a bit of a pucker and a ruche yes. so it's far better to come up the one side flip it over and come up the other oh, side oh now you've got you've got um that's the one that's got interface so yeah the it? sides have got the interfacing gone we've got our interface okay so, so, so that's just on the back of the, of the yeah, this pocket panel. Yeah, basically all of the PU I've actually interfaced. Okay. I think the, it's actually recommended just literally the front and the bottom, but I've put it on the side bits just because the PU has got a little bit of stretch to it. And I just feel that it's better to actually stabilise it and it's not going to fight with the other fabrics. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Right, so we've got our sides and then we've got our middle sections. And so we're going to join those together. So I'm hoping we can... How are we doing on time? All right, all right. Okay. You've got about... 15 minutes. I did sneeze, yeah, sorry. You didn't hear me, I just threw my pelvic floor though when I kept it in. <laughs> 39, 49. So about 15, 15 minutes have we got with Amanda? Yeah. I don't know how long got. Okay, so... Oh, hang on, hang on, that looks too big. So, yeah, so here, as I say, you're going to have, like, a little bit of room. Just give it a good pull. Oh, OK. OK, just give it a good pull and ease it through. So okay. just easing it on, really? Yeah, easing it through, because you've got those curved areas. Yeah. Yeah, so just a bit of a tug. Now, uh, you're using pins. Could you do this with Wonder Clips, or did it not hold it? Because yeah, it'd be perfect with Wonder Clips. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That we gave you pins to struggle with. On the <laughs> and it's fine pinning with the PU. It really is. Yeah. As long as you just keep the, uh, the pins in the seam allowance, but it doesn't seem to mark it too badly so, at all. So you're also, all. are you attouching this bit here? Is that yeah, what you're attaching? These. So the pocket bit to the front, front panel? Yeah. So if I pin this bit, and then it'll make a little bit more yeah. sense. 14 minutes we've got. They've finally worked that out for us. <laughs> okay. We've got what we've got. Yes. But we're not doing too bad. No, no, no. You're getting lots of tips across. Okay. So I'm just wondering how many people have, like, with January and sort of setting challenges <coughs> and New Year's and oh, learning new skills. Well, we did a, an intro into machine stitching on Saturday. Oh, did you? Yeah, we had the six brand new 
people, ladies. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah, sort of all sort of starting their sewing journeys, and it's, it's great. And did you teach that class then? Yeah. 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 She have guest teachers as well. Yeah, you? we do. Yeah. I can't do it all. Okay, so that's that front middle section now. So that bit there, there. is that bit there. Okay, and then these are the side pieces, so We've they will then yeah. curl around. So nice. we'll stitch those. I know, I wish they wouldn't call it, it's not our fault, but they wish they wouldn't call it beige. Do you know what I mean? Because that, that's love. The, this bag is gorgeous. looks really exclusive and classy, country casual, doesn't it? And yet, um, beige sort of sums up. Bland and yes. boring. And it's anyway, not. getting back to New Year's, Hannah's going to um, learn how to wallpaper. This is producer Hannah. She's going to visit Russia and she's going to get the thing fixed here on the thing. Because if you want to buy fabric, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, matter in this hour, but if you want to buy fabric, you can still only buy three units on the web. No, no, they, they think, they said it was fixed, but it's not. It's not. Is that it then, just three? Oh, and then, <coughs> oh no, also, little Paul, producer little Paul, asked Hannah to go on holiday to Japan with him. Oh. But they obviously can't be away at the same time. And also, Hannah does hosteling, little Paul only does posh hotels. <laughs> but to, but tonight, they're going rock climbing together. I've said from day one, they should just get it together and then they could be a happy married couple and then it'd be sorted, wouldn't it? So what, what, what are you going to wear? Rock climbing, those, oh, those trousers you wore the other day to work. Like, you, 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 that, like those, like legging, le, legging you thing. I wonder what little Paul's going to wear. He won't be in shorts with his legs, will he? Have we ever seen little Paul's legs? That's a question. Anyway, where are you going? Rock climbing? I was going to say, where are they? Oh. Oh. Oh, so I must... Oh. The rock climbing centre near then. Yeah, we've... Uh, oh, my youngest has had uh, a rock climbing party before. What? Yeah, birthday party. Rock climbing birthday party. They're like rats of a drying pipe, the kids are. Great. <laughs> right. Where's the cake? That was the year we had... Um, Haribo the Constrictor. We had a snake and it was covered in Harry jelly. Haribo oh, the Constrictor. Boa Constrictor. Other okay. other chili sweets are they? So we can then put the other section. The other section on. I might have to go and watch. Actually, that would be quite an intriguing. Well, I'm not doing. I'm not doing it. What time are you going? Oh no, it's, I'm not waiting that long. Could you not go at three? Uh, uh, what do you mean it's not on? Oh, no. I've done it. I'm sailing before. You've done what? Absailing. No, my, sort of... I was supposed to do that for charity uh, earlier this year, but I had to come into work. They were climbing over the Liver Building in Liverpool, and my friend Maureen did it, and my niece Alex did it. <clears throat> but I'm going to do wing walking this year. Oh, wow. And I'm also going to do, in North Wales, there's the... Uh... That's it, Wire. Yes. I am desperate to do oh, that. Oh, have to come with Absolutely us on the weekend. We do it. Absolutely desperate to do it. Won't you be too tall? <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time they've let you go this <laughs> end, your hands will be touching the other end. Oh, I just think it would be absolutely awesome. I really want to it have a go at that. It looks fantastic, yeah. Because yeah. you can travel up to 100 mile an hour, can't you? You can travel up to 100 miles yes, an hour yes, on yes. it. Oh, I've looked at all the you, uh, YouTube oh. videos of it and everything. Yeah, you have to book it a long time in advance. But it's only around the corner to Mike and Julie's house, you see, so I'll go up there. Because Alex and I, we, we did the um, skydive when we were in San Diego together, see my niece and I. So um, we've decided to do more challenging... She's raising a lot of money for, um, for, for one of her charities. She's at Warwick University and they raise lots of money for charity and things. So she's doing it for that and I'm doing it for fun. <laughs> Yeah, I always said I wanted to do a parachute jump, but I had to do it before a time I was 30, and it didn't come round, so I was like, that's it, never doing it. Yeah, well, I said <laughs> I said that to do it before I was 40, and I did it last year, so I'm fine now, because I'm 39, you see. Yeah. <laughs> now, all the other guests go, go, yes, they don't pull a face like that. No, I know, because as, as I jumped out the aeroplane, I suddenly thought, what, 
are you doing? doing? <laughs> it's nearly pension time and here you are throwing yourself out of an aeroplane. I did it like a reverse bungee jump. Um, Hang on. A reverse bungee jump, so did you go upwards? Yeah, the, so basically they strap you in a harness. It was a trio one. I did it with my sister and my husband. And you were a trio one. And then you put in this harness and then they flip you forward. And I was only like four foot off the ground and I started squealing like a battery. <laughs> and then they just pull you up to this incredible height. And I go, <laughs> and like one of them, uh, I think it was my sister, had got the button to release us. And I'm going, did you dare put the button? Don't, 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 so don't. So where does it send you? It send you up it? So it, it's like so a big it elastic band. Yeah, so it stretches you up, you hold there, and then when you press the button, it just releases you down. <laughs> oh, that's, that's made me feel a little bit crazy. So, yeah, that was like... <laughs> oh, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Mandy said, hi, I'm loving the bag. Can I say, John, I'm a bit distracted by the cool thing back. Isn't it upside down? I think you can get, Jane said it could go either way, oh. couldn't it? I suppose if you're in bed, you see, if your pillow's here, you'd look at it that way. If your pillow's there, but if it's distracting, I'll change it in the break, uh, Mandy, for you, my love. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just for, you. Just for you, Mandy. Okay, so we've got our piece together. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. we will need to put that one, but it's a lot easier. I'm going to do the top stitching. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The yes, PU. Yeah. Now, with the PU, right. you can sew on it but it will pull a little bit right okay so you can top stitch if you wanted to from this side and try and pay, take it down but yes, it could but come out a little quite, bit it's wobbly quite difficult, yeah. yeah so i've got a roller foot okay so that helps to actually sort of just glide oh, hang on, just do that again. What's it okay do? so it just sort of glides along so you could just sort of see that roller oh okay, okay. now so it's like a teflon we do we do we sell those hannah or not there's a selection of feet on the website. We'll have to look. You have to okay. match up with your machine. So you need to go and look. Yeah, we'll do, double check that now. But Elna will sell them because you've got one. Yep. So, so um, just check which machine you've got. Check our website. Um, it's called a roller foot. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen it. I'm sure I've said, chance, read that out loud. And so I think the 680 comes with one. But obviously, it'll be a different foot. So if you've got a 680, don't put your 680 roller foot on a 540. That's right, isn't it? It depends on the width of the... Yeah, the 680 is a 9mm, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so it's a 9mm yeah. swing. So, yeah, it won't fit on the 540s. Okay. So you've got your, cat your different categories, whether they're A, Bs and Cs. But if you, if you haven't got a roller foot... You can still do it, can't you? Just, just you can. Adds, it just aids the, the, the process. It does, yeah. You could do it with your walking foot as well. Yeah. Um, that will help. Or I've even, um, before now, just stuck on a little bit of masking tape onto your normal presser foot. Yeah. And that will help to stop the friction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, <coughs> excuse me, Lucy messaging earlier. She'd made her first bag. This is it. Oh, that Fantastic. looks nice. Well done. Lovely colours. She's thinking of changing the straps to wide ones. Are the straps the, the, the webbing then? Or are they made out of fabric? That's lovely, Luke. That's her first bag. That's her first bag. She's made congratulations. So if you are going to change it to the... If it does look like webbing, if you're going to change it to a wider, what you could do is use your one of your contrast fabrics, make it wider. And then to reinforce it, put the webbing on the top so your... Oh, it's decorative. Yeah, so your fabric will just peek out and look like it's been piped. And then the webbing will reinforce it. Oh, that's a it. nice idea. Um, and sort of just make a little Thank bit you. of a feature oh, she's of full it. full of tips today, isn't she? Uh, Lorraine says, morning. I love, love, love this bag. Lots of love from Lorraine. Morning, Lorraine. My sister's namesake. Oh, a D wants a picture of me and you doing the zip wire. <laughs> Be, I'll, my Facebook will be full of it, I tell you, when I do it. Because um, Judy Walters was doing it, uh, did it the other week. There Judy a, Walters? Yeah, there was a picture, um, there was a programme she was doing on railways. Oh, yeah, going around the, around the country, that's yeah, right, yes, yeah. yeah. And she, uh, yeah, she did it. She's also doing one of coastal walks with your dog or something like that. They've got about five or six different celebrities. Oh, right. To also go for, like, a walk in the countryside and work on, I'm sure it's a coastal one with their dogs because that is equal Bill Bailey, the common, the man with the big beard, the comedian with the big beard. It's him then. And Penelope Keith does the other ones, which I... 
right. Okay. Four minutes. So okay. that's our top stitching. Yep. So then you stitch. Now, how do you, how do you then top stitch? Carefully. The last one. <laughs> yeah. Carefully. <laughs> yeah. When I did that one, I did actually catch a little piece into it, and it's like, okay, seam ripper out. Yeah. So you can unpick. Can you can you unpick? You can obviously unpick PU then. Can oh, you? Yeah. oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, hang on. The um, 680 does not come with a rolling foot, John. Thank you, no. Anne. Thank you, Anne. Comes with most of the feet, but not the roller foot. Okay, so another bit of a stretch. Sarah slash Sarah, we're not sure which one it is because it's got no H on the end. She sent in a picture of her first jersey dress. We'll save that for the jersey dress hour later, if that's right. And we make sure she doesn't, Hannah doesn't forget. She forget lots, Hannah. Yeah, I've had a few people start messaging me on um, my social media, sort of saying, oh, I made you the, the jersey, whatever, and I made this dress, or I made whatever, so it's really lovely. I think it is, people though, get in touch. You're so, you're so, I said this last time you are on, but you're such a brilliant teacher at explaining it. You know, you, I've always been terrified of jerseys, not overlockers so much, but jersey fabric. Mm -hmm. And yet, and I suppose it's because I, when I trained in the day, you only did a zigzag stitch and that was it. But the way you teach how to do, which you'll see at, um, in the 10 o'clock show, doing a jersey dress. Yeah, born to teach. That's what we think you are, born to teach. Thank you. Yeah, I think sometimes, especially if you've just sort of started out, we're, um, oh, another plug then. <coughs> we're actually making this jumper in a couple of weeks. I've done it as a workshop. Yeah. And it's absolutely fantastic for beginners. Um, and if somebody, when she was discussing, she went, oh, yeah, I'm not sure about the, you know, like the stretch, isn't it supposed yeah. to be difficult? And I said, if you've not made anything, you know no different. I, no. Won't, I won't allow you to have a flimsy, you know, and it's ideal, obviously, for a heavier, yeah, slightly exactly. heavier jersey anyway. So, um, so she's coming on it. That's very clever as well, because you, you'll, you'll sell them the fabric for the lesson to come in, so they'll pay to come for a lesson, and they have to buy the fabric from you. Well, that's, that's the idea. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, it's... Um, I, I'm not saying I, it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's no, a bad thing at all. I, I just advise brilliant. them of what they, you know, the yeah. best ones to use. OK, we've only got a minute left, I'm afraid. OK. Uh, thank so. you for your advice. I've made the straps just from fabric, but changing to webbing will do your idea. So thanks again for the tips. No problem. Oh, you've got to do something else with your day now, Lucy. Right, we've only got a minute left, Amanda. OK, so we're going to put the, the base in. So make sure we get the right way round. OK, so our sides are the canvas side bits. Yeah. So just find the centre point on each of those. And then your base, again, fold in half, just put a little bit of a crease just to mark it out. So I always find it easier to match up the side centres. You'll then find that that will then work across the actual width of the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So pin that into place and then you'll find that the long edges will then naturally fall in. And when you stitch it, would you just stitch the two ends first? No, I would... I'd oh, you go round the yeah, whole lot? Yeah, go round all, all of it. Um, start, don't start on a corner, start halfway down, either a short end in the middle or halfway down one of the long ends. Don't worry about sort of going around the corners, it's fine to actually round them through. Okay, so now all these instructions are in the pattern, aren't they? They are. What I'm going to do, is because we've run out of time now, is okay. I, can we save this half-made project and another show when you come back, we'll talk to Wendy and Adele to schedule it, because I'd like to see you do the, the handle. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> right, she's back in an hour with the jersey dress. <laughs> Aren't you? Yes. Oh, she's cursing me now. <laughs> Beige bundle. Really, really, really limited. Quick look, because they're going to sell out. Three metres. You get the PU, the one Amanda was using, the PU, the cotton, uh, the linen cam, linen look canvas, and the Macau solid, and the thread. $27.99. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. I'm tied up as a co, but I've got three fabrics which I might put into my next hour. Right. Uh, Twilight. 
Lots of people got this one in their baskets. It's the Twilight tote bag bundle. Meter of each. You get the uh, lilac uh, spot on a linen canvas. You get the meter of the silver PU and a meter of the mercury Macau plus the thread. Right, then we've got the fuchsia, which is very, very popular as well. You get PU elephant gray one meter. You get uh, Macau solid fuchsia one meter and you get the linen effect canvas one meter plus the thread, 27 pounds and 99 pence, right? Oh, got ages. Then I've got the, um, oops, flamingo. Excuse me, this one's called heavy cotton, this fabric. Uh, flamingo, meter of that. You get a meter of the pale blue Macau and a meter of the duck egg blue a linen effect canvas and the thread, 28 pounds and 49 pence. Last but not least, I've got the olive one. I'll get there. So we get the olive... Um, Spot on linen canvas look. You get a meter of the Ecru uh, Macau and a meter of the lin uh, Ecru canvas linen and the thread. 23, there's only single figures that one left. And the pattern, over half the stock of this is gone. Very, very popular. And I promise I'll get Amanda back to do the handle, even though she's <laughs> cursing me like Billio. Right, now I did have some fabrics by the half meter sell you. I'll put that into the next hour because I've got a fabric bundle uh, show coming up right next. But look, I've also got the zigzag. I've got the parrots and I've got the other zigzag coming up after the break. I'll see you in three. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Join Jennifer Taylor on Tuesday the 9th of January for a Sashko Masterclass. At 11 a.m., Jennifer will demonstrate this stunning Japanese hand quilting technique with our Sashko Starter Kit. Sashko means little stabs, and it is created by decorative running stitches sewing with white and metallic threads on navy fabric. We'll be offering a selection of Sashko fabric bundles and the perfect book Japanese quilting by Hiromitsu Takano to help you expand your skills. We'll also have some brand new exclusive designs perfect for your next Sashko project. You'll be amazed by the variety of effects that you can create with just a single thread. So tune in for this exciting show on Tuesday the 9th of January at 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics, from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily from 8 a.m. till 12 noon on Freeview 78 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. I wanted to do that Sashko. I did the voiceover of that going, oh, that's me, that's me. It's not me, it's not me, I'm not in tomorrow. I've, I've never, I haven't done Sashko. And they look, <coughs> they look absolutely lovely, don't they? So that'll be with Natasha tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday night, tomorrow. Right. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bundles. Got so many to show you, but before I start the bundles, I want to show you the fabric. Oh, now, Amanda, also, remember I just said to Amanda about the handle on the bag? She's in on Friday, right? So she's going say, say to say, to ask Wendy if she could show you the rest of that bag on Friday. So that would be good continuity. And then you'll be able to watch both on YouTube to then see the bag being finished. It's a nice idea, isn't it? So she's just checking with Wendy now. Right, so I had three fabrics that I didn't get to show you. None of these were on, none of these were on the bags. These were just other fabrics we thought you might like to use as the main fabric on the bag. So the <coughs> I've got a cushion made out of this one. Isn't it, Lorraine? Isn't this the one you made for me? Yeah, it is. I've got, you've got a picture of it in the, um, in the system there. In your system upstairs. No, it's from Lorraine. It's from Lorraine. Anyway, isn't it this one? Isn't it this one? Oh, hang on. No, hang on. No, is it this one? Is it the flamingo one? I can't remember. <gasps> Lorraine, let me know. Is it this one or the other one that we had? I think it's this one as well. Because I sit, I sit, look, I sit on my sofa here and it's on the chair over there. So I look at it every day. And they're not allowed on that chair. That's my very tall, expensive uh, throne chair. They're not allowed on there. Mind you, I've made the mistakes. I've moved my furniture around again. It's a gene I get from my mother. And um, the big armchair is right by the, one of the radiators in the sitting room. So they now sit on the arm of this chair going, oh, it's lovely by the radiator. Anyway, they're cats, by the way, in case you didn't know, if you're new to us. Right. Um, look how wide this fabric is. This is cotton canvas. <sighs> Uh, 60 inches wide, 150 centimetres wide. Beautiful parrot fabric. No, I don't know if it is this one. Isn't my one the one with the pink background? Yeah, I think mine's the one with the pink background, isn't it? Oh, I am... No, mine is the other one. Mine is the other one. I do apologise. Yes, I took the pink one home to see if it go in my bathroom. Then I took this one home to see if this one... Go the cushion's not in my bathroom. Anyway, I love it. Again, if you want more than a metre and a half, you do have to ring, you do have to ring, the, mine is the other fabric, definitely. You just have to ring the call centre. You can't do more than a metre and a half on the website, that's all. But yeah, mine was the, the other one, isn't it, with the pink background, yeah. Uh, no, no, it's, I, it's just I love both of them, that's why. I've got a picture of it somewhere, I'll find it for you later. Um, that's gorgeous, though, isn't it? How much was it? Six ninety-five. So cushion, obviously cushions it works for cushions because I've got a. You don't work for a cushion. You'd need only need half a meter, wouldn't you? Well, I'm just thinking half a meter of that. Let me just show you what half a meter is, right? You make several cushions out of it. Look, so that's what you. That's your half meter. Oh yeah. Now Hannah says when she has a conservatory built, she's going. No, couldn't you, just, couldn't you just glass over your yard? <laughs> oh, OK. That's not going to work, then. There we go. But then you just fill it with green plants, don't you? Yeah. All right, OK, so that fabric's available. I'll just put that in my trolley over there. Uh, and then I've got these two zigzags as well. Always, always, always popular. I've got this in the blue. <coughs> this is a 40... Oh, limited. The blue's limited. Great. Oh, very good price, half metre. This is, I'd say, was 42 inches, this one. Oh, 46 inches. 46 inch, this one. No. 100% linen, this one. Huh? Yeah. No, it's not linen. This isn't linen. Yes, it's not linen. It's not linen. It's 100% cotton, this one. Yeah. It's 100% cotton. Oh, OK. <coughs> what it says on the website is, <coughs> excuse me, 100% linen look. Well, it is, I suppose, but it's, it's not linen. It's 100% cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's nice, though, isn't it? Beautiful, that one. OK, and then, so that's the blue. Oh, hang on, that said ecru there. Oh, it's a navy to start with. OK. And then this one here. Ha 
Hannah's going to make a laundry bag out of this one. This is Pink Zigzag on Ecru. Well, I don't know why, because you just use the floor to put all your clothes on anyway. And she doesn't wash them, because we saw the one with the curry stain on the other day, didn't we? Three pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they were the uh, they were just left over from the last for the last fabric uh, last show. Bundles, 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 bundles. Now these on this side are all uh, plain colours. These on this side are designer bundles. So let's do classic rainbow to start with. Let's do classic rainbow to start with. Let's. Okay. So let me just put that there. Just moving everything across. Otherwise, I'm going to get very confused. Right. So what we have here is the classic. Rainbow. Let me put it in a uh, Richard of York gained battle. It, oh, right. My rainbow doesn't have pink in it. This one does, but in the real life. Oh, gorgeous. I love these rainbow bundles. Classic rainbow fabric bundles. Half a meter of each. I've got nothing on my iPad at all. So I've got bright red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. 22 pounds and 49 pence. Hannah's home must look fabulous, all the things she makes. Lorraine, looks like a jumble sale. Yeah? I've not been invited around, I've only seen the pictures that she's shown us. I will be invited around one day, apparently. Well, she's got to put the radiators in first. Yeah, because it'd be a bit cold without those, wouldn't it? Anyway, rainbow bundle, half a metre of each. Always very, very, very popular. They all sell out and they, and they oh, you know what I mean. You just, we have people missing out the whole time with the rainbow bundle there. £22.40 for three and a half metres of gorgeous fabric. Yeah, people in the basket, baskets already. <laughs> Good for your stash. Well, it's brilliant for your stash, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant for your stash. Can you ask Floor if they check the heating? They said they were going to check the heating before they... Um... £22.49. No, well, as in... No, I said it was too cold in here. Yes. Yes, thank you. I said, to, I said to the floor, the young man on floor today, I'm a bit, could you just check the thing? I'm a bit cold. So he's made it colder than the opposite. It's because I used to work with him in another place and all the time I said, turn, the, turn it down, turn it down. He's gone, I thought you said he was up. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. It's a way to speak to your presenter. Right, next, quickly. Oh, not so quickly, but a whole hour. Pink. 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 Half a metre of each. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful pinks there. Half a metre of each. Uh, for £9.49. £9.49 for one and a half metres of fabric there. What you get there is you get... Yes, please. No, nothing's on my iPad. No. Oh, so I thought you said you printed them. Oh. <laughs> Candy floss, magenta, and baby pink. Uh, when, before we came in to do the show, Hannah said, now, in the bundles, I've printed them off. I've printed them off, so I'll better see what colours they are if it doesn't come up on your iPad. Didn't come off my iPad. She said, do you want the rainbow ones? I was like, no, it's fine. What are these? Oh, I've not printed the pink one up. <laughs> she printed the, di the difficult ones on. Oh, right. Anyway, uh, one and a half metres of pink fabric there. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Moving on. Candy floss, magenta and baby pink are there. Got a message from Julie. 
Morning, John. I bought the parrot fabric. Can you tell me which pink and which yellow will go with it? Thank you from Julie in Barnsley. Can I do that in a minute? You're not rushing off, are you, Julie? I'll do that in a minute. I'll just do my bundles and then I'll go through that. Um, which, uh, uh, oh, the pink and the yellow. Oh, hang on, I can do that now. I can, let's do the yellow first. Now, this one might not look that different on your telly. It is, though. There's three different yellows on there. Again, you get half a metre. Oh, I've got this one. Lemon, maize. Lemon, maize and yellow I've got on this one. Lemon, maize and yellow. That's a gorgeous bundle, isn't it? Right, let's just have a quick look then. I'll just get this out. Right. This is the lemon bundle here. Um, parrot's going across the bottom. So now, that I'd say, is that one yellow or is that one maize, that one? This is the one that confused me a little bit. That's obviously lemon. I'll take lemon out. Okay, because one of them, this one goes, the bright, oh no, they both go, they both go. No, no, the brighter one is the one that goes. I think it's maize as well, but what we'll do is let me check, let me check. Yeah, I'll get floor. And then the pink ones, let me just show you the pink ones. Oh, all, all three of the pink ones look lovely. I'll just show you the pink ones together. But if I was going to go for any pink, I'd go for that one. That's the pink bundle there. That's the parrots underneath. Plain pinks bundle. How funny that one doesn't work. Anyway, I would say, if you're not going to buy the bundle, because it all goes nicely, the darker one of this one is the pink to buy. Magenta. Magenta, that one is. And you're just going to buy it separately on its own. Yeah, depends which one you want to match with, but I just thought to show you them anyway. So I'll put that one away. Lovely, thank you. So we've done pink and we've done yellow now. I'll, get, I'll find out the yellow, which, one, which one's which for you, so you can order it separately. Okay, next. Blue. I can hear in the background. Blue. There you go. Plain blues now. Again, one and a half metres, half a metre of each. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Baby blue, navy and ocean. Now, just recently, the blues, I don't know what it is, but blue fabric has been, when we brought you a new um, collection of fabrics, the blue has been the one that always sells out first. Nine pounds and 49 pence there for a metre and a half of fabric. Lovely, isn't it? Nine pounds and 49 pence. Green, next. Right, green, we want it, we asked for more green, but we can't have them, so one of these fabrics must be quite limited. These are lovely. Oh, green, look at it. Now be careful if you want the green, because it's quite limited. I'm only telling you now, so if you want to come in and get it now, you get emerald, fern, and lime green. It's funny, isn't it? It brings up some of them, not others. Emerald. For, oh, there you go. Half the stock of that's gone in baskets already. Please make sure you check out. Remember, if you're new, if you are new to us, it's not yours until you've checked out. But you can check out as many times as you like. It only costs one PMP for the whole day, £2.95. Okay, so that was green. Next one. Red next. Christmas, bright, and, oh, is that vermilion? I better be careful here. Bright, Christmas, and port. No, I was right. Bright, Christmas, and port. They're the three reds there. Christmas red isn't just for Christmas. They're nice, aren't they? Half a metre of each. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Now, uh, remember also, if you are new to us, if you buy two of these, 
If you bought, say you bought two of these different, you don't get a meter and a meter and a meter. You do in total, what you get is you get two half meters of Christmas red, two half meters of bright red, and two half meters of port. They're not, they're not cut together, just so you know, just so you know. Okay, that's the red one. Purple, Elaine, did I hear you say, Oh, yes, Elaine, did I hear you say they're trying to load the 5th of January onto YouTube as it's missing? Y yes, uh, Elaine, uh, we are, and she says, I love the show. The, the, the first hour won't be, I think you switched me off, Hannah. The first hour won't be there because it, the first hour went completely wrong. But the uh, rest of it, we lost, anyway, the rest of it will be there. They're working on it now. Purple. Mauve, mist, deep purple, and violet. Now, Pantone colour of the year, ultraviolet, isn't it? Nine pounds and 49 pence. You say pardon to me? I said uh, Pantone, ultraviolet colour of the year. Right, um, who was it that wanted to know the yellow one? I forgot to know. Julie, of course it was. Um, the bright yellow... Oh, no, hang on. Right. No, hang on, purple, right? I'm just, uh, it doesn't give anything away if I put this, this uh, Right. That is yellow. That's the yellow one, which is the one that goes with the fabric. That's the lemon. And that's maize. But we also sell a bright yellow which it looks almost identical to maize. That's the difference, that's the difference. So that's where we were getting confused. So just so you know, if you want to order that fabric separately from the website, that is yellow, that is lemon, and that is maize. And then the bright yellow is a kind of orangey tone to it. It's got an orangey tone to it. Just so you know, that's where we were getting confused. I'll just tell you these things, because it's best to be up front, isn't it? That's what you do in the shop, you should ask, couldn't you? Right, okay. Now, this is a pattern. This is a pattern bundle, this one. So what you get is you get, this is linen, it's all Macawa. This is linen look, but it's all 100% cotton. Don't need my glasses on there. This is linen look, 100% cotton. This is silver spot on, and that is, not slate, is it, that one? I haven't got any details, that's all. 12.99. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, they're both slate. They're both called slate. I was right. Follow you. you should follow your gut instinct, shouldn't you? It's always wrong. Always right. And the spot on there in silver. One and a half metres for £12.99. And, and then, last but not least, now, this, the mono bundle is always, always, always popular. So what we've done with this, we've given you a metre of each of the fabrics. You get a metre of the black, a metre of the optical white, and a metre of the, is it mercury? Oh, I've got it. Mercury, optical white, and black, a metre of each, 19 pounds and 14 pounds. So you get a metre of each. You get a total of three metres on that bundle. Always useful and always sells really, really, really quickly. We, we asked for more stock of that this morning, so, because um, we know how quickly it goes. We know how quickly it goes. Uh, well, what can I say? It's just called monotones. You get a metre of each, the optical white, the black, and the mercury. Nice. Right. Let's move to some designer bundles now. Oh, yeah, if you want to see any, like, like um, if you want to see anything together or mixed and match, I'd just message in and let us know. <coughs> or oh, I've, I've got the card here as well, so we can talk about all that sort of stuff. Uh, designer bundles. Pu well, this one's called purple, right? But I would definitely call it pink. It's lovely, though. Mixed and match. Now, that you might not want to use them all together. You might want to use them all together. Have a look at this. You get one, two, three, four, five, six different fabrics, half a metre of each. So what you've got here is you've got... You've got Cave Squiggle, and you've got 
Kaif, Aqua, Rose, which are those two. Ooh. You've got Michael Miller. It's a Wildlife in Raspberry. You've got Heather Bailey here, Twist and Shout Pink. Okay, my, my one's wrong on my screen. Because I have no, I have no, I've got sprinkled stars on mine. No, no. This is what you're getting. This is what you're getting, right? So you get that cave half a meter of the squiggle, half a meter of the big flowers. You get the Michael Miller, um, it's a rabbit's life. No, that doesn't sound. It's a wildlife with rabbits. And then you get Twist and Shout, Heather Bailey. And then you also get Magenta and Candy Floss is the Macau. So, oh, look, not 32 pounds, dot, naught, naught, just 32 pounds. End of 32 pounds. Yep, now they, now they call that purple. There's nothing purple about it whatsoever. It's pink. Well, it is. I'm just being honest. There's no purple on that bundle. Oh, hang on. No. There's green. I love this fabric. Love, 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 love. <clears throat> But there's nothing purple about it. Oh, Julie, you're more than welcome, my love. More than welcome. Oh, <laughs> she says, Tone Quarter always provide the best customer service. They do? They do? We do, I should say. We do, not they. Oh, right, now, yellow. Would that be the yellow one? Yes. Oh, this is nice. This is golden, I've called this one. Right, what you get here, I'll go with Hannah rather than my screen. I've got Kaif Yellow Sunburst Fabric, which is this one. Then you've got Kaif Yellow Delft Pots. Heather Bailey Twisted Shout, which is definitely kind of a mustardy colour. Heather Bailey Octopus Garden, look. And then, that's yellow. And that's maize. But you, <coughs> you don't need to worry about that because you don't need to get, tell us the colours because they all come. It's good if you have got a favourite colour though, isn't it? I love this one. When, we, when I launched this one, I, um, oh, I just, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very uplifting, a yellow bundle, isn't it? Look. So you get half a metre of each. So you get three metres of fabric there for £35.99. They're, they're all, they'll all be different prices because obviously they're different designer ranges, that's why. Okay? Green now. Oh, this is nice. Again, you get half a meter of each fabric. So what you get in this is lovely. Oh, the, the Cave Delft uh, pots in green is there. Yeah. Tula Pink is this one. We love this one. That's the one with the peak owl, the owl. I can see the owls in that one. Um, this one's Fioralia, Fioralia, or is it Floralia? Floralia Blossom. And then there's this one left here, though. Amy Reba, Chicory. Is it just called chicory? Is there anything else with it? Right? And then we've got the two solids in this one. I think that's spearmint. And that's emerald green. Half a meter each, 34 pounds, and we like that one. Is that the only one with Tula in it? Yeah, it's the only one that's got some Tula in it there. Tula, who's coming on our show? No date yet. No date has been announced yet. Oh, has the date been announced? Oh. Oh, dear. No, there's no date. Apparently, they said a date yesterday. No, I'm not saying until I'm told either. What colour next? Blue. I didn't, I didn't even think it was this month. 
not that I've got a date. Who has? Oh. Anyway, 33.99 this one. Got Michael Miller. The, yeah, 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 here. Oh, it's upside down, hang on. What color, what color do they call those funny colors, don't they? Stream, stream. Yeah, because the gray one was called fog, wasn't it, if you remember? Anyway, so that's Michael Miller, Rabbits in the Woods stream. Heather Bailey, Blackbirds. Oh, that's upside down as well, sorry. But the thing is, there you go, there you go, Blackbirds. They're the albino version. Trevor Fields, Heather Bailey. Michael Miller, honey, honey, in Peacock. And then your two solids in this one, marine blue and azure. Uh, they look, might look the same. No, no, there you go. They look different there, don't they? £33.99. And, and then finally, my last bundle, <coughs> is red. Oh. Oh. Look, they look gorgeous together, don't they? Right. So, Cave Delft Pots in the red. Blackbird. Oh, upside down. Uh, yep, so there's Blackbirds. There's Forever Fields. Amy Reba, Redbud, Caroline, plus your two solids are Bright Red, Christmas Red. Do you know what? We had Vermilion the other day, didn't we? And then I've never seen it since. Anyway, £34.99. So now, I will recap, I'll go through all the bundles and everything, but that's everything now, so you can start checking out your baskets, because lots and lots and lots went into the baskets. Now, if you want to see anything mixed and match, the solids and the, and the designer, or the solids, or the rainbow, whatever, just let me know. Just get a message in and let me know. Plain green. Oh, my word. Plain green, there's only two left in stock. I think it will be the last time I show this. There's just two of these left in stock. So you get lime, fern, and emerald green. That's lovely. I'm going to put that in my basket, though, because lots of you got that in your baskets. OK. Classic rainbow, very popular. Yeah, go on, then. <laughs> Classic rainbow, red, pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, and orange. You've got fur. Yeah. Real purple. Yellow. It's very popular, the yellow today, isn't it? Bright red. Magenta. Bright orange. And nautical but nice blue. There you go. At three and a half meters for 22 pounds and 49 pence. Beautiful, I love it. Oh, oh, I mean, I know it's not enough to make a Bargello out of there, but you know, startings of a Bargello, isn't it? Classic rainbow fabric, oh yeah. Well, actually, th three and a half meters, Bargello, or, 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 trip around the world, look. Right, now the, the, the instructions for this aren't on the website, but it's, the, it's the same basic instructions, but all it is is you make all the strips and all the cuts exactly the same size. These are one and a half inch strips on this one. The Bargello one, which is that one, the if you want to make a cushion, imagine, you could add that. Three and a half meters, though, will get you a big, get you quite a big front, wouldn't it, really? So what you need to do is if you go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com, here it is. You click on projects and guides or learn, sorry, learn first. Then you go to projects, lots of ideas there, and you scroll down and there's the Bargello. 
They're different sizes, obviously. That's just for that one there. Great instructions there. And that's the one that's on the wall behind me. Oh, now you see, they've put them side by side on that one rather than on top of each other. It bothered who? Did we? Oh, here, yes, change this the other way. Yes, change it. I thought you meant the one on there. I was going to say, oh, I thought we changed it for someone on there. Uh, anyway, Rachel. Ooh, John, I love the green designer bundle. So do I, Rachel. Do you want to see it again? Let's see it again. Especially for Rachel. It says, ooh, oh no. Such beautiful fabrics, John. Brightening up a cold, frosty day. Lots of love. Bitty. Bitty, I love that name. It's really Pat, right? But she's called self Bitty. Are you named after Bitty Baxter? She was, the, she was the editor of, uh, she was in charge and made Blue Peter. She was like the woman who created Blue Peter, Billy Baxter. Green designer we love. It's green. I think it's because it's new, you know, fresh spring, because we're into spring now, aren't we? So in this one, you get the Kaif Delft pots. I've got it, I think. I've not got it here. I've got the... Um, this is chicory, this one here. This is Delft Pots in green. That one there is Floralia, is it not? Oh, Roslyn, morning, John. Can I please see the green designer with the greens, Roslind? Right, let me get the green designers out for you, Roslind, and then I'll show you. Yep, so there's the Tula. Then we've got the Spearmint, which comes in, which comes in this bundle anyway. And then we've got the Emerald. Oh, but the greens have gone. Have you already got the greens, Rosalind? You might, if you've already got them, I'll just get them out and show you. So this is, so you get emerald again. You get emerald twice if you buy those two bundles. Now, and then you've got the fern and the lime. Oh, oh nice. I'll just move that away. Now, obviously, obviously I can't, the greens, unless you've got the green, Rosalind, or you ring the call center to see if you get one of the last two. So that, that and this are the green bundle, which is sold. We'll take that one out. Sold out if you haven't got it already. And then this is the green designer bundle. You could all, you know what you could do, Rosalind? You could check on the website to see if they've got fern and lime still on the website, because you get emerald in this one anyway. You could always mix and match it and order some more of it, couldn't you? So, but in this bundle, you get three meters, half a meter of each. Tula, Floralia, Delft, and Chicory. Thank you. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right, let me move on. It's like uh, Hannah saying, how, "How do you remember such things?" I don't know, but um, Copacabana was on the radio this morning, right? I know every, every word to Copacabana, that's funny. But also, also, when I was a student, I played Oberon in um, Midsummer Night's Dream, right? And I can do half the long speeches, you know what I mean? I can still remember them after all this time. I know. And I played the nurse in, uh, in um, Romeo and Juliet. <gasps> Come Lama's Eve at night, shall she, be, shall she be 14, my liege, my lord? My lord and you were then at Mantua. I remember it well. You see, that's... It's frightening, isn't it? That's me turning into the nurse now. Come, la what, what's the matter? What lamb? What ladybird? God forbid, where's that girl? What, Juliet? Uh, Rosalind says, thank you. I'll check out and order the lime. You're my pleasure, Rosalind. I shall stop doing, I'll stop doing my Shakespeare my shows now. Oh, it's my nickname, Daughter's Idea, A Term of Endearment. I love it, Pat Biddy. Biddy, I'm going to remember that now. Oh, now you have to start. In future, Pat, when you mention, you have to write Biddy, not Pat. Biddy. Oh, that's nice now. Mono. Mono bundle. Now, this is the only one where you get a meter. Oh, I'll tell you what I have to do. I'll put that one underneath there because the camera doesn't like seeing that much white. There you go. So you get a meter of the mercury, a meter of the black, and a meter of the optical white. It's lovely, isn't it? 
Does, no, it's not, it's not, it's not like, oh, isn't it gorgeous, isn't it gorgeous? But it's very handy to have a meter of each of those. Because when Lucy was on air the other day, didn't you, what did she say? The white always, she always runs out, white is the thing she has to replenish straight away. And then she said, wrongly, that she then runs to the local shop. No, she orders it from us. Oh, my feet are freezing today. Yeah, really cold. Hey, I'm, I'm doing that with my toes. Yes. Oh, the showbiz. Keep, well, no, the showbiz secret is you stand on a piece of polystyrene. That's what you do to keep your feet warm. Now, I didn't watch Dancing on Ice last night, but I've seen all the, uh, on social media this morning, and people aren't very happy with it. Because it, it's very, very different. They go backstage and things like that. And apparently they've got a different man doing the voiceovers, and it sounds like it's a darts match. I'm going to be watching it tonight. I'll let you know. Because I went to, oh, let's see, the, what's the greatest showman? The, the theatre. Oh, not in the theatre, the cinema. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's, I'm going again this week. I've got to go again. Yeah. Right, next, next, next. Greys. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. With my colour chart, Jennifer has asked... I haven't got cream, uh, this isn't the whole card. There's no, cr yeah, there's 72 colors. I've only got half of them here. Yeah, because that's only 36 and there's 72 of them. Um, I'll let you know, um, who was that from, sorry, Jennifer. Jennifer wants to make a nice kiss through the window. It's like it wants a lovely warm cream. I'll find you one, I'll find you one in a second. Yeah, exactly, I'll just get the card now. Oh, <laughs> it's not as bad today. It's not as bad today. Um, I get acid. I think I hate getting old. Uh, do you know, I had this awful realisation. I was getting ready. I was meeting my friend Dulcie on Saturday, and we're going to go to the cinema together. And I was getting ready and everything, and I suddenly had this sudden, re sudden realisation of actually how old I am. And I thought, in two and a half years' time, I'm going to be that age. And I got really depressed. And I just sat on the bed and was like, oh, no. In two and a half years' time, I'll be that old. Thank you. Do I get a free bus pass at 60? No, I don't think I... No, right. Lovely, don't stop. Oh. Don't make me sad. Right, OK. Um, Jennifer wanted a lovely warm cream, did she say? Right. I, I don't know if you're able to see it from here, but cream and vanilla are beautiful. Really, really lovely. They're the Macau Solids, Spectrum Solids. They're on our website. If you want the, if you want the plain, if you want the plain Spectrum, um, the cream or the vanilla are beautiful. If you want to go slightly, um, we've also got one called Nude, which goes slightly over to the apricot colour as well. That's really beautiful. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to show you this because on the old telly, it won't look, it won't look out. So I think... The cream or the vanilla are the nice... The cream is obviously the warmest. Cream is a lot more um, creamy. And the vanilla is more vanilla -y. But then nude goes over into the apricot. But they're the nicest, they're the nicest warmest colours for you. Thank you. Right, back to the grey. Three shades of grey. Now, this one's different because you've got grey Macawa solid. You've got a silver... That's slate. You've got a silver spot on. And you've got a slate linen look, but it's not linen, it's 100% cotton. 12.99 for one and a half meters of fabric. Okay, nice. Right, if there's any you want to see together, just let me know. Any ideas you want, anyone, anything you want me to look up, just let me know and I'll look it up for you. Right, next. Blue solid. Okay, blue solid, but first of all, I need to tell you the rainbow, classic rainbow. Classic rainbow is selling very, very quickly. This is classic rainbow. You get three and a half meters of this one. Okay, that's going very, very quickly. That's the classic rainbow. Now the blue solid is this one.
Um, I don't know what I'll do this turn. Let's have a look at this one. There's uh, a flying goose, a flying geese. It doesn't have to be giant, it could be any size, won't it? Flying geese. No, I'll change that. Okay. Major and a half fabric, nine pounds and 49 pence. Uh, <laughs> Lorraine, <coughs> the thing is, Lorraine, <coughs> I do apologize. You don't look anywhere near 60. That's the problem I'm having. Lorraine looks like, Lorraine's like this. Think of a glamorous, she'll hate this, what's Eamon's wife called? Ruth. Glamorous Ruth. That's what Lorraine looks like. She's done it. She's done it already. Yeah, she's done it. Well, no, 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 because she came back from the hairdressers with it like that, and I said it needs a bit of Lorraine zhushing, so it goes like that. Is that right? I don't mean zhuzh the, the cream to make you go brown. I don't mean that kind of zhuzh. But there's a, there's a suntan. There's a, there's um. Uh, oh, there you go. There's a picture of the cushion that she's made for me. I'll show you now. Oh, it's not that different, is it? The fact, uh, It's the same range, but you're, this one's just got parrots on it, the one I've got. Half, that, that's the one that Lorraine made me a cushion out of. That's my big throne chair in my sitting room. And then this is the fabric we've got today. And you can see why I got confused. It's not that different, is it? There's only seven metres of this left now. If you want more than a metre and a half, you do have to ring the call centre. Hannah said she was going to get it sorted, didn't she? But, you know. Right, OK, the blue. <coughs> we'll finish with the blue one. Blue designer. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. <coughs> anyway, we, no, no, it's not cold. This is the acid reflux. And what happens is, is if you eat, if you don't not eat, no, hang on, if you don't leave three hours after you've eaten at night time, uh, it causes it. If you eat, um, drink coffee, I had lots of coffee yesterday, that will have caused it. Anything fizzy, that causes it. Peppermint, you can't have anything peppermint. I know, it's frightening. Chips, all my, my whole diet. And it's everything, everything. Alcohol. No, anyway, look. Oh, Susan's nice. I'll look at this first, Susan. Hi, John. I know you feel I'm that old this year, horrified. Love watching you so much, Sue, in York. Sue, you see, you don't look that old either. I'm going to have to have a bit of work, I think, done before mine, aren't I? Well, it's really funny because, you know, I got told off by Haley the other day for being aggressive to everybody. Um, oh, I'm not, have I not said that? Have I not told you that? <laughs> we were just sitting having lunch. She came out with it. Well, you're very aggressive, John, to everybody. I was like, oh, thanks, Haley. Anyway, the next day she went, whatever it is you haven't done to your face, it's really working. And I was like, yeah. That was the next day. She waited for 24 hours to say that. Anyway, you get uh, rabbits in a wood, Michael Miller in stream. Blackbirds, blackbirds, forever fields, strawberry fields forever. And then, honey, hun honey, honey, really thrills me. Aha, uh -huh, honey, honey. Or there is, um, kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me, thrill me. That's Shirley Bassey, that. Anyway, so she sings it in tune. Uh, then you get the two blues, marine blue and azure. Well, you see, Hannah said she wouldn't use all these together. Well, maybe you will, maybe you won't. <laughs> well, let's just have a look. No, 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 let's have a look at them all together. Because if you make it a quilt, they wouldn't necessarily, if there are smaller pieces. Oh. Right, I've got an email from Wendy, suggestion for me. Is that it? I'm not reading that out. Oh, OK. OK, I'll just do this first, then I'll have a look at Wendy's uh, suggestion.
Lorraine, if I could judge my hair up, I would do. Thank you. And I'm not 58 yet, Lorraine. It's had two and a half years. Anyway, have a look at the blue designer bundle. Yeah, at least I've still got my hair. Little Paul hasn't got his, has he? Well, no, because when you go bald lane, you have to keep having it cut. It's because he's, he's going for that specific look, isn't he? The little, no, the little denim jacket, the little boots, you know. Yeah. The Tony look, we call it. Anyway, that's lovely. Now, what's Wendy's suggestion while I thought this one? Wendy suggested... Oh, thank you, Wendy. You're very kind. Happy New Year to you. Can I put the black and white bundle with the grey bundle? Oh, let me just have a look then. Let me just fold this up. Now, remember, in the black and white bundle, you get a metre of each of the three, but in the grey bundle, you only get... Ow, ow, ow. What did that catch on then? There's nothing there for it to catch on. Yeah, no, don't. No, I was just... They're all going, no, that's one to get older. Right. The grey one, this is, so this is the mono, this is the mono one first. So you get a metre of the white, I'll put the white underneath there, so it's not. You get a metre of the white, you get a metre of the black, and you get a metre of the pale grey. So you get three metres in that bundle for £19.49. And, and then the grey textured bundle here would, I mean, it's going to look, right, I, I, uh, how can I do this? I don't, well, I was going to try and do around the world, um, when do you want to know if they look good as around the world? Haven't we done around the world in black and white? I'm sure we must have done. Is Jane Alcock back, not back from her holidays yet? She's been to... Well, I know. She, I didn't even know she was going. And then suddenly there she is having a lovely time. No, no, she said she was going on holiday, but she didn't say she was going to Vietnam, did she? Anyway, she looked like she had a, every, every... You know when you see somebody's face uh, and every picture, they're, like, really ecstatically happy, having a lovely time? That's what she looked like. Oh, no. Right, hang on. This obviously isn't... <laughs> this obviously isn't around the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sassy Stripes, whatever it's called, isn't it? Savvy Stripes. I don't know how I can do it without cutting it. I don't know how I can do it around the world. Let's try to do this. I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do a weaving one rather than... Oh, no, because I'm going to have to do that either. Have I? I think it would look gorgeous as, a, as around the world or a Bargello. Well, you know, the, the thing is, you need to buy a bit more than that, wouldn't you? Because only four and a half metres. Depends how big you're making it, I suppose. But you need, don't you need um, ten? Oh, no, I suppose you could just repeat the colours. I think, I think this or this would look lovely in monochrome. Oh, sorry, I'm pointing, I'm pointing. This or this, I think, would look lovely in monochrome tones. Really lovely. But you know what I might do? Sorry, say that again? That's my version, yes. Um, what I might be tempted to do would throw in one colour. Do you know what I mean? Like, do it all monochrome like that. She switched me off now and she's wittering away in the background. Yeah. I'm, oh, that's too bright. That one's too bright. Do you know what I mean? I'd be just tempted to put one, that one. Just one of those in. You know what I mean? Like that. Well, I'm trying to cover up the white for you because the camera doesn't know white. Or you could do log cabin, but then the central colour really needs to be red or yellow, traditional. Anyway. This, this pink bundle, I'll show you the pink bundle now. Or oh, would the whole pink bundle work with it? Right, let me just put this grey one away. Right, the monotone one, the black, the grey and the white one, the metre of each, please check out your baskets. 
That's the grey, the textured one there. Uh, yeah, that one. No, no, I was just thinking it was the right one. Because we know, no, 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 because it's half a metre and these are metres, aren't they? That's fine. Right, okay, I've got to be quick now, because time's running out. Right. Right, so that's the, the monot monotone, monot oh, they called it monotones this time. Um, in the metre of each fabric, that's the 19 pounds, 49 pence. This is the grey textured one, where you get the slate Macau spectrum solid, the slate linen look, and the silver spot on. And then this is your pink one. This is your pink one here. So in what you get in the pink. Yeah, no. Gorgeous, that isn't it? I put that pale one with the greys. Candy floss magenta and baby pink. The baby pink I'd put with the um, with the greys. Okay, beautiful. And which was the, the what colour designer bundle do you want to see? Yellow designer bundle, right? Right, this is the yellow designer bundle. Let's Kaif. Kaif. Heather Bailey. It's like roll call, isn't it? Heather Bailey. Now, Heather Bailey, this range, were um, named after Beatles tunes. So this was the uh, Octopus, uh, Oct Octopus's Garden Under the Sea. This was Twist and Shout. Then this is Cave Delft Pots in yellow. And that was Cave Disco Daisies. Yellow sunflowers. Sunburst, sorry. And then you get the two uh, Macau solids there. Yellow and maize. Yellow and maize. You see, I think, oh, well, anyway. Well, no, I, no, no, I'm not going to do it, but I was just going to say that would look nice with the blue. They work nicely together. If you wanted two designer bundles, that's the yellow designer bundle. This is the blue designer bundle. Yeah, that would work nicely. The most popular designer bundle is the green, which doesn't go with the yellow. But it depends how you're going to use it as well, doesn't it? It's me saying what doesn't go. But you might, not, you, you might use different projects. Might you be doing different projects, might you? This, this is the green one. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. The green um, solid bundle is sold out. Completely. This is the only bundle that's got Tula fabrics in. Gorgeous, that isn't it? Designer fabrics you got in there? Oh, sorry. Right. Well, we haven't done the red one. Prop. I think we need to do the red designer one as well. I've done what? Red designer fabric. You've got, uh, you've got your um, Heather Bailey Blackbirds. You've got your Heather Bailey Forever... Uh, I've got that right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Forever Fields. You've got the Cafe Delft Pots in red. And then you've got your Amy Reber, is it? Yeah, Amy Reber. And I can't remember, Carolina. Carolina it was in the uh, Jitterbug range. And it's in Red Bull. No, that's not right. Red Bud. Red Bud. Are we allowed to say that? OK. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, though. I'm not going to say it until I get I'll, f I'll find out in the break. I'll fi they've, just, they've just whispered me a date in my ear. Not a date, as in I haven't got a date. I haven't got a date. Um, with Ian, the head buyer. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, I've got a date with Ian. Um, but apart from that, he's, they've just whispered me the date that Tula's in. But I don't know if I'm allowed to announce it yet or not. I'll find out. I'll find out in the break on my date. Oh, where are we going? Well, he'll just want a drink, wouldn't he? He does. 
I'm not, I can't have some acid reflux. Can't have my coffee, can't have chocolate. Can't have peppermint tea. I oh, know, I'm a rubbish date. Apart from that, I'm boring as well. And aggressive. <laughs> Let's just get a John, shall we? Is it any time for me to go? Amanda's up in a minute. Got a minute left. Um, rainbow quickly, rainbow quickly, rainbow quickly. <laughs> Hannah, you're so horrible to me. Right, there's the, there's the um, rainbow bundle. I want to sing about, oh, I know what, Rainbow Express, that's what it's called from the um, Avita, isn't it? Rainbow Tour. Rainbow Tour. It's been an incredible success. You weren't quite sure. Oh, uh, you go with, Jennifer's going to go with cream. Oh, she says, I love the way you look after us, so it's, well, that's what I'm here for, isn't it, really? It's like coming to your favourite haberdashery fabric shop, isn't it? Right, I'm going to be tidying up now as well. It's not even my job, is it? Say that again. I'm going to go and ask Ian about my date now. Um, I'm going to go in a minute. I'm going to go in a minute. Um, Amanda, Amanda's coming up next with a jersey dress. Oh, there's lots to get out there ready for, isn't it? Um, poor girl, right? The, the delivery didn't arrive. So she hadn't got... That's why there's not a finished one here. She's having to make it live on the show. See you. Oh, it's a lovely dress. Long sleeve. See you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Amanda Wyatt has an exciting show for you at 10am this Friday, the 12th of January, all about sewing bags with a professional finish. On the show, we'll have a selection of great bag making notions, including handles, bases, zips and fastenings. With Amanda's expert tips, you'll be able to create stunning bags that suit your needs and match your style. We'll also have two fabulous colour options to get you started on your bag making with some gorgeous fabrics to choose from. So, join us on Friday the 12th of January at 10am for advice on improving your bag making skills with Amanda Wyatt. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. New Year brings lots more new treats on Sewing Quarter. We can't wait to reveal what we have in store for 2018 with so many exciting guests and projects and with wonderful new fabrics that we'll have on our shows. You can look forward to a fantastic year of inspiration. We love working with our sister sewing and quilting magazines, transforming the stunning designs into kits and demonstrating techniques for you to learn. We'll have more adorable softies from designers including Joe Carter, Mandy Shaw and Lucy Brennan and dressmaking stars of the Great British Sewing Bee. We're also thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family in 2018 with her iconic fabrics from America. You'll love the new choice of vibrant colours and bold prints. We can't wait to share the new year with you, filled with fabric and sewing goodies. So tune in daily from 8am to 12 noon on Freeview 78 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news and share your own creations with us.
I have an announcement to make. Tula Pink will be live in the Sewing Quarter Studios on the 7th of February. The 7th of February. It's the first time we've announced it. 7th of February should be live here on the show. It's exciting, isn't it? I, 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 what day is it? Oh, it's a Wednesday. Um, anyway, and I've, got, I've not got a date with Ian. I've not got a date with Ian. His wife rang up and said, no, John, no dates with my husband. It's because she said, because she's so boring. She said, because she's so boring. Can't drink coffee, can't drink alcohol, can't drink hot chocolate, can't drink peppermint tea, can't eat chips. What's left? The dream date, in my, you know, I'm well. Anyway, anyway, Amanda's back. Let's not witter. Oh, what do they say about your bag handle? Oh, I haven't asked. You haven't asked? Oh, honestly, you have nothing to do. But anyway, 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 um, you, all, you all love, and I can understand why, Amanda's jersey dress hours. We have got a different dress today. I've got the pattern. It's in two size ways. Okay, let's see what you're going to put in first then, and I'll put whatever you've got in first. Four to 14. That's this one, the small one. So, there you go, eight pounds and 49 pence. It's called the McCall's Mrs. Body Dresses. Learn to sew, oh, simple, simple, simple. We're making option B. Let me turn it round for you. We decided to go long sleeves because it was a bit chilly this morning. So that's the four to 14. The pattern also comes in at 16 to 26, this one. 16 to 26. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you this first. Oh, that's the 16 to 26. Right, I'll just do this. No, well, I wouldn't, you see. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Amanda now, yeah. There uh, we go. Eight pounds and 49 pence. Now, the most you'll need for any of the fabrics on any of the fabrics we've got here on, uh, which one are we doing? B. Oh, actually, so uh, B, largest size, you just need two meters. Uh, in fact, any of them, even D. Oh, now, the difference would be if you do the longer length with longer sleeves, you might need a bit more fabric. They're saying you need two meters for the largest size in the longer length, but they've only got short sleeves with them. So if you wanted to do longer sleeves, you might need just a little bit more than two meters. But for the option we're making today, the most you need is two meters. I'll take those with me. The most you'll need is two meters, right? Fabric-wise, gorgeous. Should we do spots first? I've got a navy spot. I've got a navy spot. I've got, I've got black spot. Well, I'll show you. This is the navy. It's a very, in real life, you'll be able to tell it's navy, but on your telly, it's going to look black. Navy spot, Pontaroma, half a metre, three pounds and 99 pence. Now, also, if you're new, if you're new to it and you're buying, oh, well, the thing is, uh, yeah, if you're buying it on the web, ring the call centre, because the most you can buy is a metre and a half on the web, isn't it? So ring the call centre. If you're buying on the web, up, uh, it's uh, the phone number's there. 0800 112 44 completely for free. And they're brilliant. They are, uh, I wouldn't just say that, because remember where I used to work, I used to say, uh, oh, well, anyway, they are brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant. Give them a call and they'll sort it all out for you. Three pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. Two meters to make the dress we're making today. So that's the blue one. Then I'll do the, the if they call it ivory or they call it white. They call it ivory, do they? It's definitely white. Ivory with a navy spot. Pontro, I love all these because they're just class. I love polka dots. They're very classy, aren't they? Three pounds and nine times pence for half a meter. Oh, Tina, I'll give you a hug back as well, my love. Thank you. Would you not come on a date then? You just can't give me a hug. All right. And then this is the one that um, Amanda's going to use. This is the black spot one. I love it. Classic. Polka dots. It was a nitsy bitsy teeny weeny. Black and, no, I was thinking black and white polka dot dress. Oh, I was watching, last, have you watched that program, Feud on the telly? Oh, it's brilliant, it's all about Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. Oh, I can't tell you how, I, 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 last night I was, I was doing a binge watch last night and it, I, I, I thought it was really them. 
I'm not, oh, oh, anyway, stripes. I've got black stripe, black, oh, now, yeah, black with the white stripe. I'll show you in a second. They're all the same width, 150 centimeters, 399. Now, the stripe goes across the fabric. Just saying, so you know, oh, oh, I'm sorry if that, mind your eyes, mind your eyes. No. Yeah, that's my magic trick noise. Right, okay, so that's the black with the white. I've then also got ivory with black. Apparently, I'm going to test it now. Apparently, this one, not as much, still does it look, but not as much, look. It's fabulous when you make it, because it's only on telly. It's only because it's on telly, 399 half meter. <clears throat> That's the white they made to top out of that, didn't they? I've seen it hanging up in the other room. And then we've also got the navy blue with the white stripe as well. <laughs> Hannah's just gone, oh, oh, oh. oh, that song's really stuck in my head now. <laughs> yes, she's quite happy that nobody can hear anymore. There we go, that's the uh, navy stripe. I know. And then I've got the, uh, can you get the floor to come in and tidy that up for me? And then I've got the um, grey mild, which I love. You just want the plain, plain colour on that. Well, it's not plain really, is it? It's kind of marble, the mild effect there. 3.99. Now, normally, I'd show you a still of the finished item. I'm just going to walk because we haven't got a finished item. <laughs> we will have. We will have. All right. Well, you better go on with it. Um, <laughs> it's not Amanda's fault that we had, there was an issue with the deliveries and everything. She didn't get any fabric, so she's rushed it together for us this morning. Right. Off you go. I won't talk too much. I'll let you just get on with it. Okay. No problem. So I cut the back and the sleeves out. So I thought we'd like to talk about sort of pattern placement and um, use of your fabric. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to. I've actually folded in. This is the salvage edge. Okay, so I folded that in enough to get my pattern piece on. Okay. Yeah. To make sure that you've got the straighter grain, I folded it with a polka dot going straight down the centre. Okay then. Okay, so yeah. you can either go with a, a gap or, and then that way you know that when Sort yes, of like you look you at don't it, want your yeah, dots going, going like that, do you? Across. Uh, this is the black dots for anyone who's wondering at home which one this one is. Because on your telly, the black and the blue are going to look the same. You've got your markings on your pattern to lengthen and shorten at the waist if you need to. And then we've gone for the longer version. And then you've got your cut here. So you could just fold that back if you wanted to do the tunic one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, normally, and I was just sort of like having a bit of a measure because I thought, obviously, when we've done these before, people sort of say, what size and what does it make up to? So I just measured this pattern doesn't have the finished garment measurements onto it. Oh, that's unusual. Which is quite isn't unusual. It? Okay. <clears throat> so as I was measuring, I was like, okay, we've got the medium here, um, and it, it's coming up as a 32 bust. Okay. Okay, which is quite. That's for the 12. So 14, they're calling it 12 to 14. 14. So it's coming up. <clears throat> Now, again, on the instructions, it says that it's a very close fit. Right. Okay? So there are hints when you're getting all this information in a very small sort of couple of sentences. So when it's very close, you're going to have negative ease because they're expecting the fabric to stretch right. okay, across you. If you're not comfortable, it's also asking for a 75% stretch fabric. This is a two-way stretch pont roma, right. and it is very firm. So I would either go up a size. Oh, there you go. That's okay. interesting. Or I would, it's got a 5.8 seam allowance, or I would ignore the seam allowance. And, and just, just, if you've got an overlock and you construct in, I would just go okay. right on the so, edge. So, so definitely, because okay. we had another jersey pattern in the past, where, um, which was quite a big size. Yeah. And we, somebody emailed in saying, I'm between a 14 and a 16. And because one pattern only goes up to 14 Two. and one starts to see. On yeah. this one, you're saying... If you're confused, go for the 16. I would one. go slightly larger. But check what kind of jersey, because it does say for four-way four jersey, and it's 75%. Yeah, which you've got your stretch line. Right, look, look here, you see, this is the, this, now you can tell, this is much bigger than the one we had the other day. What you do is you buy a piece, not buy, you get your piece of fabric that goes from there to there. If it stretches to here, then you can make this dress out of it. 
right? Now that is not normally that long. So this is this this, this um, pattern is made for the vet or the four-way stretch, which is extra stretchy. So as Amanda was saying, check your measurements and everything, and just work out which size you yeah. need. So I would because it's quite firm and it's a two-way. I would just go up that size or not use your seam allowance. Yes. Okay. Because our fabric isn't four-way, isn't no. four-way, ours is a two-way stretch. So I thought I'd cut this piece out as well. So talking about the, the pattern uh, placement, yeah. and I was going to rotary blade it through as well. Okay. okay. Have Just you got this? Sort of show. Okay. Oh, right. well, 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 well. Go on. No, go on. no, no, because I, would, I d never use a rotary okay. cutter for dressmaking, yeah. that's all. Okay, so nice sharp blade, and you're going to get a nice clean cut. So that's... The excess out of, okay. so don't yeah. throw it away. No, I'm not throwing it away. Keep it for, no, I was just saying for the viewers at home, don't throw it, your, your waist Hot away. Pants for the summer. Yeah, you can put in sleeves, you could, once you've got a good basic pattern, you can make this into a top, you can sort of dissect the corners but out, you could put Paul a section did, Paul in. Paul did one the other, <coughs> the other day that had a, like a chevron seam on the sleeve, and we were saying then, yeah. you could make one bit. Yeah, but you can, you could Frankenstein your, your pattern up once you start getting, and you could literally sort of cut pieces out. You could do what? Frankenstein, Frankenstein it up. <laughs> well, customise. Yeah, and cut and basically cut pieces so you could cut it to like another way. Like this. Yeah, so sort of, uh, this, was, this was a pattern that came like this. No, no, so no, yeah. you could do that to the pattern, pattern you had on this morning, couldn't you? You, yes. could, you could do that. Yeah. And you went with the stripy neckline then. So this is reversible jersey that I've got on. So it's just two-way reversible, so stripes on the one side, dots on oh, the other. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, I can see now. Because, yeah, because she kept saying, because yeah, she put on her Instagram, or oh, which, which, which neckline, neckline should I yeah. go from? And I'm thinking, she's cut both out, so why should I? But obviously, you only cut one out, and you would just put it on the yeah. other way around. Oh. Okay, so you can see that you can go round your corners quite easily. Oh, yes, we've got, a, we've got we go. a picture from Sarah about a jer her jer jersey dress that she made. Oh, that's the one with the insert. That's lovely. Her first ever jersey wow. dress. Wow. Well done. She made it after the showcase that you did on the 16th. That's really great. She had to great. adjust the pattern slightly for the... Oh, that was the one, the that was the one wasn't it, yeah. that did the two adjusting for the different bus sizes? That's right, yeah. because it does sort of like, for the fuller bust, it will come midway and you yes. want it below yeah. the bust. So she did that. That's brilliant. For a first one, then that's. Mm. She said it was very scary, but it now fits amazingly. Fantastic. And can we do some pattern fitting shows in the future? Well, that's meant to be me, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to do jersey. You, Amanda can do the jersey fitting, and I'll do the normal fitting. Okay, so we've got and all she our said, pattern. Yeah. She said she's very much a nov novice, and she's a visual learner, so it's brilliant to sit and be able to watch you do it because she can learn better from watching you than she can reading it. I think a lot of us, I think a lot of creative people are more visual. Well, Hannah is, because she can't read, isn't it? No. Okay. She guesses the letters. So, nice simple pattern. Yes. Literally three pattern pieces. Oh. Okay, so your front, your back, your sleeves. Okay. okay, and they all cut with a seam, or oh no, because the front we cut on the fold, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. front's yeah. on the fold, the back is, <clears throat> has got the seam down the back. Yeah. Okay. It's, that's only because you've got a little vent at the back. If you didn't want the vent, although it would be quite a wiggle dress, yeah. um, you could cut the back on a... It's quite nice to have a wiggle dress though, isn't it? Yeah, now, then? yeah. And I think last time when I did at Christmas, when we did the other one, um, and this was sort of on the show, and we said like, it's a really versatile pattern because you could actually cut it down, make a T-shirt from it. You could, I think it was that was the show that I'd got um, a ruche dress on as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Um, so if you actually wanted, if you were not sort of comfortable wearing a really fitted dress, then you could always extend it a little bit. Yes. And just put some ruching through. Or if you uh, were pregnant and you need a little bit more room, just on the front sections, you could put an extra three or four inches of lengthen it through the tummy area, yeah. ruch it Rooch up, and then up. it's going to give you the excess there, for the growing bump. You, Hannah's not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> right, Elaine, 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 don't run around to Hannah's mum, Shaz, because she's not pregnant. Oh, dear. It came out wrong, came out wrong. 
Okay, so I'm just pinning down the back section. Yep. Okay. I'm just, I put a little nick in it. I'm just going to check that seems really high up for you. For your wiggle room. For your wiggle. Okay. Proceed but then how long the dress have you done on this one? I've done, <laughs> Wendy cut it out for me. So we're doing the longest one. Oh, well, there you go. So you're doing this one then. You're doing yeah, this one here. Yeah, which is C. <clears throat> okay. So, so we're doing we C That's with fine. long sleeves. That's fine. So the reason that the gap is, the, the, the wiggle room is longer at the bottom is because the skirt's actually longer. If you were to finish it, finish it there, then it would be your normal eight inch. That's right. The back. Okay, so if we're <clears> going to go <throat> straight in with the overlocker. Right. F first question is, if you haven't got an overlocker, can you make this with just a sewing machine? Totally. Don't need an overlocker for it. It's really great because it's not going to fray at all. So you haven't got to finish the edges anyway if yeah. you didn't want to. You could construct it with um, a very narrow zigzag. So I'd put it on a probably a stitch width of about one and a half and a length of two, something like that, to go down. If your machine has got the stretch stitch, which is like a little lightning bolt, then you could do it on that one. Uh, because the seams are going vertical, yeah. <laughs> I don't always have to think yeah. of it, vertical, they're not taking excess stretch. So you could get away with actually doing it on a straight stitch. Okay. But again, if you've got stretch stitch, you might as well use, use it, it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, again, but because it's a, such a tight fitting dress, you might hear a couple of cracks yeah. go when you do Ooh. wiggle into it. Yeah. Okay. So on this area, okay, because we're going to go straight in, yeah. I'm just going to snip just underneath my 5 8 seam allowance. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on. Just, let's just have a look. The camera, upstairs camera's taking a while to get okay, in. So. so I've just snipped in. Right. Okay, and the reason that I'm going to do that is that when we go down, because I'm going to use the seam allowance for this dress, and we can see you can get into it in the office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we go down with the overlock, and I'm going to be taking off the excess seam allowance, when I get to the bottom, okay, we can actually sort of fold that out of the way, and it's not going to go into it. But if okay. you're not, if you just said, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if you just said, Ignore the 5-8 team allowance if you just want to let it out that little bit. You yeah. would literally just overlock right down the edge rather than on right the Right down the line, edge and you? then for <coughs> your, your vent, you would literally only just, just be turn turning back. Yeah. Okay, or you could actually take some of your excess and actually stitch that onto it to, to fold it back placket, yeah. to make a placket to bring that through. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Okay, now the overlocker is available. Even though we just said you don't need an overlocker, it is a, a godsend, isn't it, an overlocker? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is the 664 Pro right. machine, this one. £449. We had so many people get these, and so many people absolutely love them. Okay. Now, what are you pinning there, then? I just was pinning... As I put it through, it was just pushing the, the tops separately so I've just pinned it again just to get anchored into place obviously you cannot go over a pin no okay so so now you've got the four thread going on there we've got four threads two needles yeah okay now the seam allowance whether the camera can get in on the top okay yeah I know that it's my seam allowance because it's got these markers so it's telling me that the dark solid line is my yeah. right hand needle yeah. and that my dotted line is my left hand needle and it's then showing that the dark and the light if that's if you're keeping the edge of the fabric underneath that will give you five eighths seam allowance okay okay so i'm just keeping the raw edge of the okay, fabric let's come back to us then coming closer just so in right, don't don't, don't place your foot down yet oh there we go so the dark solid line oh. I, sorry yeah <laughs> I was gonna, if, here, the yeah. dark solid line here. So it's basically, this outer one is saying that's the right, that's the left. Oh yes, that's not the, the yeah. yeah. Then the next one in is saying, well, that is actually five eighths. Yeah. But it's actually meaning that it's, this is your five eighths line. So if you keep your fabric next to that dark right. line, yep. that will give you your five eighths seam Brilliant. allowance. That's fine. Hannah's going, oh, I didn't know that, I didn't know that. And because I wasn't repeating it, she went, oh, I'm not going to say anything anymore. She's in a moment. It's been a whole moment. 
Okay, so I'm coming up to this area where I've actually. Yeah, right. So you can either fold it out of the way. Yeah. Or. Or we can sort of dart it back out of oh, the way, right out of the way there. Okay, there you yeah. go. Is that okay? Yeah. And oh, thanks, finger. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that's your centre back seam. So that's done. your centre back seam. So we've now got this bent that will then. I'm just going to lift that up. Go on. You... Yeah. So then we will fold that. I'll give it another little snip. Yeah. Okay. It could, you could reinforce it, but we're gonna actually sort of top stitch those down. I'm gonna use a twin needle as well. So if, as we go over there, that will reinforce that yeah, area as well. Yeah, because at the top of the, yeah, the vent, that's where it's gonna be taking all the, the strain. strain, isn't yeah. it really? Okay, that's you wiggle. could if you wish to, because I've already put some of the seam binding tape oh, on yes, the shoulders, yes, yes, yeah. because our shoulders are our um, coat hanger, if you like and it just prevents it from sort of stretching out yep. when you've got that hang and the weight through. So if you wanted to, you could actually iron a little bit of that seam binding tape uh, across. along there as well, which might be quite an idea. It is 6 99 You do get five metres in your pack, so that'll be a lot. Oh, it'll last you for a fair while. So I'm then going to put the shoulders together. So you're going to overlock those as well? Yeah. So when you use the seam binding tape, which I'll go over when we put, I'm going to put it through the neck as well. Okay. But the seam binding tape is 12 millimetres in width. Yeah. And then it's actually got a stay stitch that's already preformed into it. And that is at eight millimetres. So you, your seam binding is divided into, obviously, four and eight millimetres. Right. And you generally want the um, the eight millimetre side to be I don't know if you'll see that on the telly. To the, oh, yes, to yes, the yes, raw yes. edge. Yeah. Okay. So the wider bit of so, the tape needs yeah. to be near the seam. Because you want to keep that stay stitching area. Of course. But if you were using a sewing machine, you'd sew through the tape, would you? Because the, yes. the, the, the tape is where you'd actually Sleep. sew your yeah. line of stitching. Yeah. I mean, you can use ribbon, you can use um, swim elastic tape. Use what? Swim? The, the swim, you know, the clear elastic tape. Oh, no, the I don't know that. You know the... Is that the make, swim? No, no, no. Like, it's like for swimming costumes. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Really, yes. I was thinking, <laughs> never heard of that, that make. One. I've heard of prim, I've never heard of swim. Um, and I sometimes will use um, just a piece of jersey interfacing. It's just to stop the seam from, from uh, running out. away with itself, yeah. really, isn't it? There we go. So that's our shoulders together. And then we're going to go down the sides. It, has, it is actually a very simple pattern, isn't it? Very, yeah. yeah. But it gives quite a dramatic look, I but, think, doesn't it? Yeah. Simple, effective. Okay, so just a couple of strategic pins. Now, generally, I will, I've sort of gone midway through the bus. Yeah. I'll always then go back down to the hem. Because if you know that you've actually cut them level, yes. you can get some creepage. And by the time you've actually Ooh, pinned it... No one it, wants that, do they? <laughs> by the time you actually get to the bottom and you're pinning and you end up with a, an overhang. Oh, yeah. When I first started... And working with Jersey, I used to just chop that off. The, like, I've, I've had the, the overhang at the end, I just all chop that off. <laughs> I so love watching Amanda use the overlocker, and it was because of Amanda that I bought the Elna one, and I'm starting in to enjoy using it. That's from Anne in Surrey. Fabulous. Well done, Anne. It's what we like to hear, isn't it? The thing is, it's just getting confident with it. I know when I yeah. first came across an overlocker, you, my, it was a great big industrial singer one. It absolutely terrified the life out of me. But once you get used to it, once it's your friend, it's, it's just brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, you might think that they sit in the corner growling at you, but you can soon get them purring. Yes. Oh. Talking about a date again, yes. <laughs> Okay. 
pins are your friends, so use those through. Do you always pin? Do you pin when you're at home as well? Uh, not always. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not always. But I don't want to sort of give all my bad habits away. No, exactly. Let's do as I do. Don't do as I do, do as, as I, I say. say. Yeah. But the times when I don't pin, I invari invariably then can end up getting into a bit of a <laughs> and getting the seam ripped around. Yeah. So, to be honest, sometimes it's just not worth trying to cut corners. No, exactly. It's a bit like on the sleeve head, because um, sometimes with a jersey, you can... Um, I'd put the sleeves in now. Yes. But because I haven't done the pattern, um, and it's saying to inset them, and there is some ease stitch on the... Um, sleeve cap. Head. Yeah. That um, I thought, well, well, we'll do a, an inset today for a change. Yes. But also, can you ease one, can you still ease one in even when it's flat? I suppose you can, can't you? You can, yeah. but you've just got to be careful because sometimes you can end up with a little bit of a waffle through because yes. you've overstretched yes, the one section. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Are we going to have a, can, should we get um, Claude to stand by with a mannequin? Because it, Blimey, you're open. Now. Oh, yeah, it's over there. <laughs> when did that go there? Oh, I haven't seen... Yeah. But it was sort of like with trying to cut corners. I think when, you, when you've got to ease a, a sleeve head in, it's always worth doing two rows of e-stitch. Yes. You know, I've, yeah, I've tried doing it one and it, and it gets stuck and it snaps. And... But also, um, oh, hang on, they're throwing me upstairs. Be quiet, please. Um, it's gone. Come. We'll come back. Yeah. Oh, no, it. as it's a pattern you've not done before and you've not been able to practice it with it, mm -hmm. you don't know exactly how much you use. You know what I mean? It's kind of the it's like you've come to this pattern blind today, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So if, Which I if think you knew really you've good. made this before and you think, oh, there's only a tiny bit of ease I can do when it's a flat. Yeah. I'm not doing the thing on the flat. Which is to a certain degree. I don't particularly want that to happen every time. <laughs> but yes. it's, um, it is quite good because at least then sort of the views at home, you know, it's sort of like, it's then sort of me sort of thinking, well, okay, is it going to perform? And just again, do giving a couple of extra tips. Do you know what we should tips. do? An Amanda challenge. So you're not told what it is, we just have the fabric and the pattern here, and we'll do it as a, we could do it as a two hour show, because obviously, and you actually make it, it. as you would do at home oh. for the first time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Would you be up for that? Yeah, why right, not? There you go, that's two yeah. shows we've sorted for you. <laughs> Blimey, it'd be like on a sewing bee again. But better. Because <laughs> I went for the sewing bee on the third uh, series, I got through so many rounds. And then they didn't have you. Did you not me? It's because you were too good, that's why. Yeah, I think so. So you see... Oh, we've got a dress. So we have a dress, OK? So as I say, I, it is as I thought, that's quite a good... Is that your size? That's a medium. And, and generally, I would do a 12, 14, but yeah. I would go up a size so, on yeah, that. So, yeah, especially this time of the year. <laughs> well, no, but it's... <laughs> or I'd definitely put some ruche in. <laughs> yeah, lots of... Right, before you do anything else, stop. I'm going to do fabrics. You can have a two minute. Can I just do it up down the. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm just going to go. You can do, still do the fabrics for Yeah, yeah, in the background. Right, thank you. <laughs> I'll let you. I'm just going to go up the seam, the underarm seams. Oh, so you're just making the sleeves into a sleeve? Yeah. All right, don't do anything but that then. Okay. Honestly. Pattern to start with. A small one to start with here. Uh, eight pounds and 49 pence. It comes in a 4 to a 14. Oh, now, apparently, uh, if you, uh, like, because I've shown you the back, but maybe went too quickly. If you go to the website and look at this, oh. Yeah, you click on the pattern, and it'll show you the back panel here with all the sizes and everything like that you need. Eight pounds and 49 pence. So you can get a short, short sleeved, a long sleeved short, a longer uh, short sleeve or longer three quarter length sleeves. It's up to you, you can mix and match all those. Okay, and then we have the, the next size up, which goes from a 16 to a 26.
Isn't that, isn't that you modeling again, Hannah? There? Yeah, there she is again. Eight, I think McCall's use her all the time, don't they? Eight pounds and 49 pence. Oh, now, it's, now hang on. It says 16 to 24 on my graphics. Right, stop, 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 stop. It says 24 on the graphics, but it says 26 on the pattern. 24 to 26, it says on the pattern. No, no, 16, because it goes 16, 18, uh, 20, 22, 24, 26. So, anyway, so that's the pattern. Fabric. Spot, what the band is using is the black one. Polka dot is going crazy. You need two meters to make the dress we're making today in a size medium. Oh, no, in all sizes, in all sizes, all sizes, all sizes. Um, 3 99 for half a metre. Uh, so that's the black one. Then I've got the ivory one with the black spot. That's uh, coming in now. Ivory with the black spot. Three ninety nine for half a meter. Remember, it's wide, sixty inches wide. And then I've also got this in the navy background. Now, on your telly, it might look black, but this is definitely navy. My navy spot is the most popular. Or navy with black, navy background with white spot, is the most popular. I'm not surprised. It's got that gorgeous, gorgeous kind of vintage feel to it, hasn't it? Three ninety nine half meter. Then I've got the stripes. We do have black with a white stripe. They're all the same price. They're all the same price. Three ninety nine half meter. Next one is the ivory with the black stripe. Sorry, I'll move that out of the way because that's confusing. There you go. The ivory with the black stripe. Oh, hang on a second, it's a navy stripe. My bad. No, it's definitely... Okay, it's navy. Okay, and then we've also got navy with the white stripe. I do apologise, that is a very, very dark navy stripe. Okay. Navy stripe. Ponte Roma, 3.99 half meter. And then last but not least, I've got the grey marl. Which is lovely. Really, really lovely. Very popular. Okay, 3.99 half a meter. Okay, let's get back to Amanda. Right, so you've just put okay. the sleeves... So, the underarm yeah, seam. Yeah, I've just literally tubed them Brilliant. through. You can actually see that it's quite a tight-fitting yeah. sleeve so, as well, isn't yeah, it? So. Yeah. Okay, so on your pattern piece, you'll have your little notches. Let me get the notches off down on the sleeve. So those are the new. So on a sleeve head, you will generally find that you'll have a single notch and a double notch. Yeah. Okay, and then you'll have certain circles. Okay, your single indicates that that's the front arm scale, um, and the double would be to the back. Yeah. Your dot at the top is you'll see that it's just slightly forward and off centre towards the front. So that's we're going to be matching up with your shoulder seam. Yeah. And then the little dots is where you put the E stitch in between. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's really important to remember that the back, okay, that a sleeve is not equal in proportions because you need more room in the back of your arm because of the rotation that yeah. you've got. And so it's quite, sometimes people don't bother putting the notches in and then they don't know which one is which and then they're trying to sort of put. And also your ease. There's more ease at the front, front of the sleeve, of the head, than there is at the back, back of the head. As yeah, well. yeah. 
Okay. okay. So just make sure that you're not trying to get a left <coughs> arm into a right hole. Oh, and how many times have we done that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the person who's sewn an, uh, an arm, a sleeve, into a neck hole. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. <laughs> okay, so right. this is my back. I've put my double notches in. Yeah. Okay. So I've turned the dress inside out, right. but the sleeves are the right way round. Yeah. Okay. So I've got my double notch. So that's going to fit into this one. Okay, so I'm yep. going to match my under seams. And again, my little sort of angsty bit is that I do like them to be as perpendicular as humanly possible. Yep. And then start. And you know the there'll never be any ease under the, the arm, so you know no. it's going to be flat when you first start pinning around. Yeah. Okay, so I always work from side to side. Then find the centre piece on the shoulder. Match those. Your seams go towards the back on the shoulder. Oh. Okay. And I pin on the inside because it's easier to sew within that circle than it is on the outside. And then with the overlocker, I'll show you how to sort of start off as well if you're using your seam allowance. Because it always sort of foxes a few people. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so we've now got this excess. So I've like pinned up to those, that E stitch. Yeah. So with my two threads, okay, this is why it's important. You're just literally pulling through. Now, you're not creating a gather. It is just literally to ease and fit it in. So we don't want any puckers. So you'll have a, a bit of a waffle at the top. And pin on the actual stitch line. Yes. When I would sew this in normally, I would actually baste it in to start with. Uh, Anne in Cheshire says, Amanda, are the spots straight? Are you happily following them? As in, is that what it means? Um, so when I'm doing the pattern placement? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did sort of, although I was like, I've done it quickly and I've sort of thrown it down, I did sort of eyeball yes, it to sort yeah. of see if they were running. I've got another question from Jackie. Hello, both. Brilliant show today. Love it. I have a quilter. Do you think I could make this as I've never done dressmaking before? If you could sew a straight line, definitely. Which is a quilter. Mm-hmm. Definitely can. Um, it's, a, it's a different art, though, isn't it, dressmaking to quilting, really? No, she doesn't agree with me that one either. Yeah, well, I've done <clears throat> throwing... I'm throwing... Putting a, a quilt together, I just fancy doing a bit something a bit different. Oh, um, well, ever since I've started working here, I'm intrigued by it. <coughs> I love, I yeah. love seeing how quilts come together because I was just a pure dressmaker, sort of thing, wasn't? Um, yes, yeah, so give it a go, so, Jackie. Yeah. Give it a go. But remember, size-wise, it's a very, very snug. It's a very, very snug fit. So if you are on the borderline, go up, go up a oh, size. Yeah, you can always take that yes, in. Yes, yeah. Okay, so plenty of pins. Okay, yes. so this will be interesting with the overlocker. Oh, you can do that with the overlocker? Yeah, let's oh. go for it. You, you're on about challenge, Amanda. <laughs> you see, what I would do, this is what I'd do I would, make. Yeah, I would baste in first, yeah, normally. Yeah, so sew it with a machine, first of all. Make yeah. sure it's right, right, and then do the overlocker, yeah. yeah. We've had lots of what to say, sorry? Oh, loads. Oh, lots of comments about how they love watching shows and what you're wearing as well. Oh. So that's another show, that pattern. Is that a normal pattern? Yeah, it, it is a McCall's or a Butterish. <laughs> Are we not allowed to say We've those? had a what from Pauline? A photo from Pauline? Oh, that's nice, Pauline. Ooh. Which pattern Right, that? this is the jersey dress she made from fabric she bought in New Zealand. That's... F right, yes, she said this is four-way stretch fabric and she found it a little bit more fiddly because than she does Ponteroma. Because it's, yeah, it's, yes. it's flimsier and it depends if it's got a viscose content in it as well. So I generally tend to sort of say um, a stretch jersey with viscose in it is a little bit like a rich tea biscuit and it's like one dunk and it's like, ooh, ooh. 
You've come out with some rattles <laughs> analogies today, haven't you? But it is, it is, it is like, it, it is like, I always think of it like mercury. It, it's when very you hold fluid. four way stretch or, or the viscose one, you put it in your hand and it kind of it has a life of its own. It does yeah. it, This is very stable, whereas that one is very. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? Mm, rich tea. Okay, so I'm going to go in then, and the way to do it, if you sort of like basted that through and you've got your 5 eighths line, to get your um, overlocker in closer, take out a channel. Okay. Okay. Like that. Yeah. And then that way you can then slide, slide. it underneath your presser foot. Yeah. So disengage so the chains yeah. which that's always easier as well so yeah. you do that by back wheeling at home we would suggest if especially if you're new to it baste it in first to make Definitely. sure it's there before you don't try try and do this don't with try this at home <laughs> have you done something wrong i think we've got a police helicopter circling above us can you not hear it no it's either you or hannah one of the <laughs> Okay, here we go. So take it nice and steady. Make sure it's nice and flat underneath. And again, I'm just keeping the edge of the fabric in line with that dark line on my overlocker. So I can feel underneath, making sure that it's nice and flat. And you're not stretching, you're not pulling no, it. No, no, not at all. So it could work, it could end up looking like a dog's dinner, but oh, let's hope. Risk we take, having you on the show, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and Pauline says, a spot on, that's just how it felt. You just need to take your time when it's like that. That mercury. Where it is, when you pick the fabric up, it kind of moves like that. It's like, like you, you know, like slinky, You know those slinky, yes, do you remember yes, those well, slinky mm, toys you used to have? Yeah. On a nylon thread. There we go. Oh, no, don't worry. Okay, so I'm coming round. I'm just going to tidy up the threads from before. Yeah. So I'm just taking those off. And I'm just approaching. And I'll just hand wheel the last couple. So I'm just gonna just overrun by a couple of stitches. So what are you sorry, what are you doing there? So as I came round and I'm approaching my stitching before, okay, obviously I don't want the blade to, to nick. Um, the threads, yeah, the loop of threads. Down. Okay, so I've just hand wheeled it over. Oh, just not, yes. just like literally you would over do with the normal, normal sewing machine. machine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to back crank it again to release the threads. Release the threads. So the last few stitches out. you hand cranked. Yeah. So they still carried on stitching. Stitching, but, but then you hand back cranked it to make make sure the stitches disappear. You just got yeah. the threads. Right? Okay, and then I've just I'm just going to knock them off. Just knot those off, and then you can just. Trim off okay. the threads. And if you've got some fray check, I suppose you could fray check them as well, couldn't you? Yep. And then we can take out what basting stitch is still. Remember, if so you're then, making the pattern two metres of fabric is what you need from the Ponty Roma. We're just getting rid of the... Um, the basting the stitch. Basting stitch and, and it gathering. just relaxes down the fabric then. Okay, so that's my one sleeve. So we came out fairly unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you should have then a nice smooth head through. That looks fantastic. There. Right, okay. I'm going to ask you, have you made, did you make the other sleeve up? I've done the other sleeve, but I was thinking about doing the neck next, okay. just to sort of show people. All right, or no, no, we want to see as much of a finished dress, that's all as possible. But if you do the neck, do the neck, and then you can always put the other sleeve Sleeping? in. Got yeah, time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Do the neck, yeah. Is the iron on? The iron is on. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so it's with the seam binding tape again. Oh, what I'm going to do then. Are you going to use this sewing machine? Yeah. Okay. 
Because I was yep. hopefully you well, are yeah, because I'm going to twin needle afterwards. Okay, well I'm just going to unplug it and use the iron, sure, so we can see what you're doing. Okay. Now, what we didn't mention about the pattern, it's actually got two different necklines. Oh, okay. This one we've gone for the scoop. The other one is um, like a boat neck. Okay. Oh, yes, because on the front picture, she's standing like that with a kind of... So you're doing the scoop, the scoop neck the or scoop, a what neck? The scoop neck, or it's like a boat neck, oh, really. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So there's a high upper boat neck or a lower... The lower scoop neck will be easier to get on. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Again, I would advocate that you sort of do a basting line at your five-eighths. Yes. Because that shows you, first of all, where to put the tape. tape. But also, it's not going to let your jersey move while you're doing the pressing and everything. That's with right. It. Again, so just placing that around. Oh, you're so, making you rush so much, aren't we? So you want the, um, again, I'm putting the eight millimeter section closest to the raw edge. Right. So you want. The, raw, the, the edge of the four millimetre section to be on your five-eighths line. Yes. So. And also be careful, because obviously you don't want to get the glue on the iron. Make sure you've got it the right way up. Yeah. Makes it sound silly, but yeah, the no. times, you know, we've done it and gone, gone to press, and it's got the, um, you've done it the wrong way up. I'm going to say, I'm sort of eyeballing this. Yeah. I mean, I can, obviously, because... I'm used to doing measurements. You can eyeball it. Eyeball and also, it we bit. are asking you to do a day's project in 50 minutes. Sort of thing, <laughs> so. <sighs> yeah. so last time I'm wearing a jumper on. <laughs> <laughs> You're hot. Yeah. It's freezing in here today. You think so? We've yeah. only got a shirt on. I've got a woolly jumper on. I wear a pattern. I want to take my best. It's <laughs> take my best off as well. It's freezing. Now, it's because you've got the steam and you're under pressure. Doop, boop, boop, boop. Me singing under pressure. Okay, so we're going to twin needle this into place afterwards. Yeah. So twin needle. Twin needle. <laughs> There's not a twin needle in the machine, though. See, yeah, I was told I could use that one. Munch. Oh. All right. If you don't want me to twin needle no, it, no, I can no, just fine. I've opened normally... it now. I've got it, got it. <laughs> Done it say, now. Could you put it in for me? I'll take... There's your twin needle. Oh, three pound fifty. Oh, see, it's for sale. Sorry. Of course it is. <laughs> it's a shopping channel. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> you, know, was, you know, it was in one of your same workshops then. <laughs> Yeah, so twin needles generally is at a four mil, which is the standard width. Twin needles will come in two and a half mil width, four mil and six mil. But the standard is generally does tend to be a four millimetre. Oh, does she not watch properly? Right, we are at the end of it now. Mm -hmm. Who's not watching? Um, Hayley, our you know Hayley, our boss, right? She's like, why is John standing at that end of the desk? Why isn't he where he normally should be? <laughs> like, she's not been watching, is she? We're all here with everything good. Yeah, we're rebels. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah, a bit, sorry, I wasn't being aggressive. You be quiet over there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> you made enough mess here now. Ooh. Right, I'll put that well. away. Okay, so I'm going to trim down that excess. I mean, if you didn't want to, you could literally just put the raw edges to the raw edges. Which would save this stage. Right, we're back to normal now. Right. <laughs> Got a bit of a flood going on here. Right. Okay, so. Oh, rotary cutter comes out. 
I just think I'm sometimes a bit quicker with a rotary cutter. Oh, who said that? Pauline? Pauline, well, pass it on to our buying department. Pauline sent us in the, the code of your pat the pattern that you're wearing. Right. <laughs> 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 See, it's all going pear shape now. Yeah, watch what you say. You know. <laughs> right. Where are you going now, machine? OK, right. So, a couple of pins, please. <laughs> Come on, we've only got five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. the plot now. You haven't put the twin needle in yet either. Oh, well, I asked you to do oh, that. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing it. You can't get the staff. No, you can't. <laughs> so you literally you turn over the neck edge of the binding, seam binding. Yeah. And the idea, and you've got to stitch from the top. <laughs> so you have to stitch from the top. You've done what? You have to stitch from the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people... Me, now, look, I've only I... got one thread. No, there's one in the trolley. Oh, is that... It's in trolley. Your trolley. Yeah. <sighs> I'll just have to encroach into the next hour. That's fine. <laughs> That's Actually, it is fine. It is fine. Um, yeah, I can do the roundup of fabrics in the next hour, can't I? Okay. So when you do a twin needle, yeah, literally thread up exactly the same. So you take you both would. threads through exactly through the, the same, same threading up. Yeah. And you put one into the right-hand side of the needle, and one into the left. The only difference I tend to do is that I don't put the second thread. Yeah behind the needle bar. Hang on, so, so you, did, which thread goes through which, you say, sorry, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you put one behind the needle bar and one I don't put through the needle bars, just so that they don't get twisted. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right getting it through the... No. Nope. More haste. I'm adding deep breath, adding pressure because there's two needles to thread. And you can't use your needle threader. God, I'm going to need stronger glasses and I'm only just up these. <laughs> yeah, the gift of sight again at Christmas. It was lovely. There we go, we've gone through. Okay, right. right. So tension at four. Stitch length I'm going to take up to a three. three. Start at the back seam. I don't know if we'll be able to see you do... Oh, yes, I might be able to. Oh, let me move that. I just generally t tend to start at the back seam because that's where you're going to overlap. Yeah. The idea is to get the two needles straddling over. So I generally tend to sort of keep my finger and I can feel the ridge yeah. and feed that through the centre of the presser foot. Sometimes takes, you sometimes might miss the odd little area. If you're in doubt, just come in a little bit and then you can always trim any excess off with yeah, the exactly. like build applique scissors. Because it's not going to fray or anything, is it? So you yeah. can just trim it off down to the st stitches anyway. But the, just the twin needle effect is just really nice. So when you come to... I'm going to ask you a question now about the hem hem. Mm -hmm. Would you do the, dub, the twin needle on the hem yeah. hem as well? Yeah. And the nice thing as well about with the twin needle is that it will... Oh, I've missed some of it. Um is that because it's doing a zigzag behind, that will help with oh, the stretch course, yes. as well. Because what, what's happened is, I'll just explain to you, 
is you've got your twin needles going like this, so they're going like that, but the bobbin behind is going like that between the two needles, so it's creating a zigzag behind. excess ones and then just overlap by a couple of stitches and you can lock stitch if you wish to. Okay. As I say, I know that I've missed a little bit because I was well, rushing we are and pushing uh, it, you know. So but this stitching will come out nice and easy enough as well. So once you've pressed that that will lie really nice and flat. Yeah, it's just there. Yeah, I missed just, that bit. Okay. So just, just, can you see the um, twin needle stitching there? Oops. So it's really lovely edging to it there. So you then do the end, the cuff of the sleeve. Sleeve and the same through the bottom. And I would <coughs> also, on your back vent, I would twin needle up and across Cross, and, and down. down. And again, it's going to give it some good reinforcement through that area as well. Brilliant. Okay. Right. This is the pattern. Got to go. Uh, Amanda's back in on Friday, so you will see her again on Friday. Just have a look at the two patterns there. I just think it's a really, really sophisticated but simple look. Dress that you're going to throw on. Oh, and you, you can also, it's one of those where you can dress up, dress down, down with your, your boots Especially and your, your jumper. Especially with polka dots. Yeah. You just cannot beat a polka dot by exactly. far. Both sizes there. The, the, big, the big graphics are the 1626. I'll go through all the Ponty Roma fabrics in the next hour. Just to recap, £8.49. Amanda, thank you so much. I know no we problem. put you under there a lot of pressure. Go. There, so you go. there you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. With two arms. Okay. Now, if you just go and put it on for me, that'd be fine. <laughs> be like a sausage. <laughs> but it's <a> sweet skin. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much indeed. We'll move on now then. Um, I'm back in a minute with all your workroom essentials. About, oh, she's gone. Amanda is back on Friday. Friday thank yeah. you so much for doing thank that. Thank you. Please. It's been fun. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Brighten up your home with a rainbow of colours this Wednesday, the 10th of January, when we'll be joined by Victoria Peat. At 9am, Victoria will be sewing this stunning rainbow hexes cushion by Joe Westfoot. Designed for issue 55 of Love Patchwork and Quilting, Joe's cushion is a great way to experiment with colour. You can choose from our fabulous kits to make your own with fabrics from Kay Facet and Heather Bailey. So tune in for Victoria's expert tutorial and plenty of handy tips on Machine Applique on Wednesday the 10th of January at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, 
bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily from 8 a.m. till 12 noon on Freeview 78 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Did you know it's our birthday on the 31st of January and we are planning lots and lots and lots of things, but we've got this going on at the moment. It is a birthday block bonanza. What we're asking you to do is design and make a, a well, a 12 and a half inch, finished 12 inch, but we don't want you to finish it off. We don't want you to quilt it. We don't want you to bind it or anything like that. Just the front. So we want it to, to be 12 and a half inches. And then so when we sew them all together, they'll be 12 inch blocks. You won't be able to get it back. We cannot return them. They need to be, as I say, 12 and a half inches, 12 inch finished. And they need to be in by the 20th of this month. There are going to be three or four winners, which are your win bundles of fabric. All the terms and conditions are on our website with the address where to send them to and everything. Uh, but they've got to be in by the 20th. Must be in by the 20th. It's the eighth day, so you've only got 12 days to get them in. Um, terms and conditions, if you go to our website, go down to the front page, go right to the bottom. It's got terms and conditions down there. Just click on there and you'll be able to read all about it and everything like that. So uh, we're gonna make the most gorgeous quilt. We're gonna create later on in the year, we'll sew them all together and create the most gorgeous quilt. But there are prizes for the three or four uh, best blocks. Uh, they'll be voted for by a panel of uh, four or five people. Right, 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 right. Right, I'll do Ponty Rover in a minute, right? I know, I know, bits of wood. Ponty Roma. Ponty Roma. Right, let's go in this order then. So we'll start off with the one that Amanda, and I'm only doing this now because I'm at, I didn't want to disturb Amanda while she was sewing at the end of the last show. So we've got black with white polka dots. It is black. Oh, you can do the navy one if you want. If you didn't want to make that dress, you need two meters of the fabric. And to buy two meters, you need to ring the call center. Uh, because at the moment, they still haven't sorted out the, um, the uh, buying on the web. No, no, it's because the aircon just sw switched itself off again. That's all confusing me now. 399, black spot Ponty Roma. 399 for half a meter, remember. That's the black with the cream spot, or the ivory spot. They're calling it ivory, but it's white. Then this is ivory with the black spot. Or is it navy? I get confused now. Navy, navy spot. Ivory with the navy spot, 3.99 for half a metre. Okay, then we've got the navy uh, Ponty Roma with the ivory spot. We will be doing my, my John's workroom essentials as soon as I've shown you these fabrics. 3 99 half a metre. Okay, then I've got stripes. I've got black stripe, or well, I've got black fabric with an ivory stripe. Oh. I think that was the air con blowing up. That's the black stripe, Ponty Roma, 3 99 They're all, they're all 3 99 Right, then I've got the ivory with black stripe. No, navy, navy stripe. Stripe. There you go, 3 Avery, uh, Avery. <laughs> ivory with navy stripe, the Ponty Roman. Then we've got the navy stripe one. Oh, you can't see it because of my, there you go. That's the navy stripe one. There you go. And then last but not least, I've got the Grey Mild, which is very, very, very popular today. It's always popular, this one, though. Oh, yeah, actually, that, that dress would look gorgeous just in a grey sheath, wouldn't it? Because it's not just a solid grey, it's mild, isn't it? You see, mild. 
3.99. Half a meter. Okay? Yes, because you're going to use mile a lot in your social diary. Right. Now, I don't think your scale could be mile, can it? Anyway, let's get on with John Scott's workroom essentials. You're most probably thinking, what on earth is he doing? What on earth is he doing? Let's do this one first. One, two, three, four, five. They're premieres. You've seen, we've seen one before, but in different wood colour. It's the lighter wood, but watch this. Just the fact, what, you, where do you leave your rulers? They're all lying around the floor. They slid under the bed. Where are they going? Right, watch, watch this. Oh, my glasses. 9.99, nine pounds and 99 pence. Look. All right, when we brought our ruler holder before, not this one, right, it sold out within minutes of the show, within minutes. Look, you obviously don't get the rulers. How brilliant is that for storing all your rulers? Because <clears throat> obviously these smaller ones, you can fit two or three. Or you could do them, you know, kind of lower down like that so you graduate up in size. Isn't it brilliant? It's so simple. It's so simple and yet absolutely brilliant. Let me just take those two out. Now you see, look, that's, that, that's the big ruler. That's the one that goes, that's 24 and a half, isn't it? That one going across. Oh. Going across there. Now, the reason that didn't slide is because I must point out, on the bottom of here, you've got big, big, um, like kind of non-slip, what am I trying to say? Stickers? No, suckers? No, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. They're not feet. They're non-slip grip things. Anyway, they are like little feet, but they're non-slip feet. Look, look. The desk moves, not the, not the desk is moving, not the ruler holder. Oh no, that's the shirt, that's not my belly. No, it's my belly. Right, nine pounds and 99 pence, thank you, Hannah. Loads of people coming in, loads of people getting these. Please, if you're putting them in your basket, please, please, please remember that it's not yours until you check out. Yes? Right, lots of people waiting because, ta -da! got a little one. Now, so what you could do is, if you're like Gerardine, who's got about 15 of these things, right, put your big ones in there and put your littlies in here. Now, I haven't got as many of the little ones as I have the big ones. 6 pounds Six pounds and 99 pence. Let me just show you the difference. I'll just show you. Yeah, so this is the large one. It doesn't fit even on the screen there. And then that's the smaller one there. So that one's 25 centimetres and this one's 50 centimetres. That's 6.99, that's 9.99. Gerardine. Oh, now, if you want the small one, you've got to be quick, I'm being told. They're flying out. People are multiplying this one, but these are flying out as well. They're they've got a lovely finish to them, haven't they? So, Gerardine, how many have you got? Oh, mind you, she's got... A She's got a wedding to pay for, hasn't she? And um, all, the, ooh, all her um, napkins and everything to make. So you don't, obviously you don't get the rulers with it. It's just the... Um, <gasps> right, please make sure you check out. Please make sure you check out. People, some people have bought four or five, four or five of these. Is it one Gerardine? Because if she's got 13 rulers or 17 rulers, how many she's got, she's going to need a couple of... <gasps> They're brilliant. And they, just, they could just sit on your windowsill. They could sit on your desk. They're just so, you've got the, this one, oh, hang on, yeah, yeah, that one, I'll just change them around. So the one that's going to come here is the 50 centimetre, uh, 50, this one, 50 centimetre one. Such a simple, such a simple, simple, simple idea. Yeah, 9.99, so that's the five slot 50 centimetre one, and then at the bottom, So that's 9 99 9.99 for the five slot one. The smaller one, which is 25 centimetres, is four slots. And that's 6 99 I'll just show you again. It's very simple. They just literally, the rulers just fit into the slots. Well, if you think your rulers are like, oh, look, you see, you can even put the bigger one in there. Your rulers are an investment, aren't they, really? You want to look after them. Now, I know that they have... Um, holds in, because little Paul wants to do this and put them all over the wall and everything. You, you might not have space for that. 
you might not have space for them, but you just put them in there, and they're nice and safe. Oh, and also, what's lovely is they all sit up like this, all sit upright, so they're all going to be looked after. They're all going to be, you know, kind of all safe. They're not just thrown... Okay, they're all separate as well. They're not just thrown in a drawer, or what a lot of people do is just... Oh, right, half the stock of this morning have, have not just been put in baskets, but they've been checked out. They've been checked out. Maybe you can check out if you're new to us. You can check out as many times as you want during the day, one PMP. So that's the smaller one for 6 .99. This is the... Yeah, the thing is, right, we can see the names of the people that put this in their basket, but looking at all the other sales, nearly everybody is multi-buying. We can't see how many of you have just got it in your basket. We can't see how many you've put in. Someone's put 10 of those in their basket. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that, I'll come back to these, but that is the, this is the 9 99 one. This is the 9 99 one. The large one, the five slot, 50 centimeter one. Brilliant. And then this is the very simple, but very, very effective and very, very useful. And then this is the one down there. This is the 6 99 one. Right, what I'll do is I'll come back in a little while and we'll do stock updates in a minute. Let me just put everything away. Right, the little one is absolutely, there was less of the little one than there were the big one. And they're at, both of them are absolutely flying out. Okay, we had hundreds of these. We had hundreds, just so you know. Hello. We love this. Now look, it goes with the frock. Imagine if you made your frock out of the Ponte Roma. <coughs> and then you go to Festival of Quilts in August wearing your spotty frock and bring your spotty bag. Now, how the, if, that's how you'll know, you'll know who Hannah is, because she'll be wearing her spotty dress and carrying her spotty... Um, now, it's meant, to, it's meant as a sewing machine. Um, can you see in there? Prim, large sewing trolley bag. You can fit a sewing machine in there. Okay. Oh, look, that's like one of the things that Janice makes to go in the bottom of the bags, isn't it? Okay. Um, someone's taken my tape measure. Floor. I'll use one of these. No, don't worry, I'll use this one, don't worry. Why, wow, what's wrong with them? Right, I'll show you this in a minute. Look, I've not seen this one before. That, I was going to say, where's this other leg? Don't you ever take my tape measure again. I'm not being aggressive. Give it to me now. Thank you. Apparently it was Amanda. I'll speak to her like that if she comes in here, if you like. I wouldn't. Right, so, uh, size. Ooh, nine inches. Uh, oh, hang on, do it that way. Nine inches that way. Nine inches that way. Uh, 16 inches across that way. And then, four to, well, no, 13 and a half inches that way. Yeah, you have to put a sewing machine in it. You have to do that. You could, lots of ladies at Festival Quilts turned up with shopping trolleys like this, but you could use it for storage. Um, so the top bit zips up like that. Obviously, the handle comes down. Oh, there you go, like that. Ooh. Right, then at the side here, zip pockets at the side there. Which, oh, that would fit a small ruler in there as well. Little pocket on the side there, $69.99. Oh, now at the front here, so many, oh, so many pockets here. So there's this one in here with the um, elasticated hoops. You've got the little pockets there. I'll get rid of that plastic thing there. But then on the outside, you also get a zip pocket on the outside as well there. What's the matter? What don't you like? Oh, OK. Apparently, I'm, I'm shadowed today. That's so someone's told me I've got a big belly and it wobbles. Now I'm being told I'm standing in the shadows. Anyway. I don't know who they are. Them just two randoms have walked in. Um, anyway, 69.99. 
No, but I can see it as well, but maybe it's because we've moved. I'll just put that back there. Right. What should we do first? Let's do an owl. I've not done this one before. Well, look, watch. Oh, no, it's not that one. <laughs> I've put the wrong foot down. No, because you close it by pressing that bit, you see. So you go like that. And then you push. Beck Reed, but she's crazy. And that means that we're all, we all love these. But Rebecca Reed. Is she in today? It's Monday. She might be here today. Anyway, isn't it cute? How much is it? Eight ninety nine. Do you know what? I'd buy some of these and put them in my present cupboard. Oh, Hannah's got a card drawer. That's a sign of getting older and more responsible. You see. Oh, I don't want an owl. Oh, there's another one I haven't seen. Right, hang on, that's the owl. What would you like? Which one would your favourite be then, Hannah? The sheep. She can't decide between the fox and the sheep. Yeah, it should be out there bags, really. Could you take these two out, please, while I'm while I'm just doing this one? Oh, look, look at this one. I've not seen this one before. Ah. Uh, they have you press at the back there to, to retract them in. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Oh, this is one Rebecca Reed's got. Look, even at the back, you've got the feet at the back as well. I'm not pushing his head, look. Pulling his, you'd hold onto his head while you pull it out, I suppose, wouldn't you? Eight ninety nine. That's the sheep. Then we've got the fo now. Doesn't this look like the Tilda Fox, Mr. Fox? Anna likes this one. <coughs> Excuse me, as well. Look. Think of the baby foxes in the spring, don't you? Yeah, they're around all year, aren't they? But you know, the baby ones are out in spring. Look. Uh, inches on one side. Centimeters on the other. Rebecca Reed loves these because I think she might collect retractable tape measures because some of her projects in the magazine have all been Covers for retractable tape measures. So that's that one. Now, if you don't like any of those, you want to go a little bit slower, then you can have a snail. Oh, he's just waking up, isn't he? Hello. Hello. Hey. Now, there you go. It's because he was asleep in the bag. <coughs> Could do this for hours. Okay, over half the stock of the small ruler rack has sold out, just so you know. Just so you know. I will go back and look at them in a minute. Right, so what did you want to do next to needle packs? Okay. That's a bundle of sewing machine needles. Look, ten pounds and forty-nine pence. So what it is is you get jersey, which would be good for the show we've just done. Jersey needles there. You get a twin needle there. You get embroidery ones there, and you get quilting ones there. I wonder why some of them have written it down there <coughs> and others have written up there. <clears throat> so you get all four of those packets for £10.49. That's a good buy. Oh, Geraldine's messaged in. Oh, hang on, my whole iPad switched off, uh, thingy switched off. I 
Oh, she called the customer service team. She said they're absolutely brilliant. She got one of each rule. I knew she would, didn't I? I knew she would. Oh, we need them for the wedding, don't you, Gerardine? They're essential. Essential for the wedding. Um, right, I'll just do this and this and this. And I'm with you, I'm back with you now. Uh, so, £10.49. She's having problems with her internet. Internet. Oh, what, what? Oh, yes. That, now, yours obviously doesn't come with thread in it. Oh, does it? Is this a new one? No. I'll just take those out. <laughs> oh, it does! Oh, it does! Oh, my word, this is brilliant. This is brilliant, look. So you've got all of these. It's the, the box that we sell, right? The box we sell. But then you get all of these threads. You get a cream, an orange, a silver, a yellow, a black, or oh, is that a blue? You will get these. Oh, you got two black ones, or is that a blue one? No, one's blue, one's black. White, green. I've not seen this before. Pink, you get all of this. Oh, this is a lovely present. Red, purple, and blue. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? 25 pounds and 99 pence. Look, and then that comes, oh, brilliant. Love it. 25 pounds and 99 pence. You get 12 spools of thread and the thread books. 25.99. Okay. That's nice. That will go very quickly, I think. 25 pounds and 99 pence. Ham and roll. These were out of stock and they are now back in stock. This is the ham. Now, uh, this is filled with sawdust, so it's going to um, absorb all the steam from your iron. This is made of cotton twill. The color of this will not run. 11 pounds, they always sell out these. They're very, very popular. If you're doing curved seams or shoulder seams or um, if you're doing bag making, you need to get inside a, a bag. Just do the bottom of the bag to press the bottom of the bag. 11 pounds. If you have been waiting for them to come back in because they've been out of stock. Roll. This is the sleeve roll. Again, if you're a bag maker or a toy maker, these are brilliant. If you're doing uh, hemming jeans and you want to press them, hemming sleeves, anything like that. If you want to get into a child's um, shoulder seam or sleeve head seam, this is brilliant. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Workroom essential this is. Christine sent me a message. Hi, John, I think you're so, S-E-W, funny. Love you and sewing quarter, Christine in Durham. Oh, thank you. La lion? Oh, little iron. I just went, lion. I thought, lion? Have we got it in a packet, please? I'll talk about it before you. I like to show it in the packet first, though. Right, this, back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. Always very, very, very popular. And also, if you watch the, um, if you watch the, the thing, thank you. Uh, if you watch the uh, designer uh, little films, they do, how many of them choose this? How many, this is what, this is the, um, this is how you'll get it. This is how it'll arrive at your house. Now, Jo likes it because she just likes to get up from her seat, she says. Um, first of all, look at the length of the wire. A very, very long wire to start with. Secondly, if, you, um, if you're in a workroom like this and you haven't got an ironing board, you've just got a, um, a mat on the table, and you just need to do lot, or lots and lots of little blocks. If you're pressing this, for example, this is just perfect. Let me just show you around it. Uh, so at the top here, you've got the little rubber stopper so that's where you put your watering, because it is a steam iron. You've got a, um, either side there, you've got a gauge of how full it is with water. This here, steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. You've got the, the dial here, like on an, an old fashioned iron. Oops. Then you spin that round like that. There's a little red light here that comes on. 
when it's heating up and it goes off when it's ready. You've got the little um, catch here for you to put the, the wire in when you either put it away or keep it out of the way. It's a clip, a cable clip. That's, well, how, what's it normally do then? Anyway, it's, it's, now, do you know what? I've ironed a shirt with one of these. They're brilliant. They're not too heavy, but they've got enough weight in them to do things like this. But also, look at this handle. Now, we had a lot of ladies message in saying, uh, I've got one of these ironed because I have dexterity problems in my hand. And that this is, don't, don't worry, this is none. But like, and they said, you can just put your hand, hold on to it like that. You see, because it's got a lovely soft grip all around the outside. And you can just move it around, maneuver it like that. They just love it, it's fantastic. And then you can stand it up. We love it, you love it, loads of you got that in your basket. 39 pounds and 99 pence. Check out, check out, check out, that's all. You can check. Now the thing is, don't be thinking, oh, I don't want to check out in case I want, you know, that template that you can check out as many times as you like. We only charge you one PMP for the whole day. For the whole day. That what, sorry? Oh yes, I did have, put it away for the last one. So um, if you are a new customer, and you spend £10 on your first order or more, you get these free, not including post and packaging, you get these for free. We send them to you as a free gift to say thank you for being a shopper at a sewing quarter. So it's your first purchase, over £10, you get those for free. Dress making scissors. Okay, next. We can go to the rulers. We can go to the rulers indeed. Okay, which one do you want to do first? Small one. Well, over half of these have been checked out. It's brand spanking new today. Uh, they're fantastic. It's got four um, slots. Lovely uh, non-slip uh, stickers on the bottom there. Uh, light wood. This one's pale, slightly paler than the other one. I think that basically be one of those because they're wood. They're going to all be different. Like, what do we have the other day? Oh, the handbag handles. And they're natural, so they're all di a different shade. And then obviously you can just slip your rulers in there. Now the two rulers very quickly that I've got in here are this the one that Joe, this is the one that Joe um, Carter wanted for Christmas and she didn't get it. She's not very happy. Three and a half by twelve and a half. She says it's ideal just to have on your desk all the time. Brilliant when you go into classes. Sixteen ninety nine. Brilliant as well if you're doing um, using the rotary, uh, no, the rotating cutting mat, because it's a good size the rotating cutting mat. If you're doing little fiddly jobs like the um, toys that Joe does. I wonder if she used it on her ballerina. Oh, we missed that. $16.99. She may have to, I bet they all flew out, didn't they? This was Joe's ballerina from the weekend. She might have drawn the legs with it, might not she? It's just her, isn't it? It's just her. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, and then the square ruler, classic square, have I got it the right way around? Yeah. Eight and a half by eight and a half inches, 16.99. Ideal, ideal, ideal for your collection of rulers, all creative grids, all right, Rachel, the rulers, rulers. Eight and a half by eight and a half. Nice, okay, and then the bigger one. Yes, oh yes, oh yes. Right, so this one, 50 centimetres. Five slots in this one. Natural, uh, 9.99. Natural wood colour. Five slots. Lots of people have multi-bought this one. Lots of people have multi-bought this one. Oh, the way around. Lots of people have got this large one in their baskets. We don't know when it's in your basket. We don't know how many you, you've put in your basket. The rulers that we put in there. Right, 12 and a half by 12 and a half square, which, uh, um, funnily enough, is the size that you need your block to be if you're going to enter the competition. Um, obviously unfinished, so when we sew it in, it's got to be a 12-inch square finished. But um, obviously we don't, to, we don't want you to quilt it. We don't want you to um, uh, back it or anything like that finished off. We just want the, the 12 and a half inch block. 
23, that's, that's the ruler, that's the ruler, 23 pounds and 99 pence. And then this one, which is, the, which is one all of our designers say, if you're gonna buy one to start with, get this one. If you're gonna buy one, get this one. 31 pounds and 99 pence. 24 and a half by eight and a half inches. Yeah, and like I say, they are an investment because, you know, $31.99, I know it's a brilliant price, but if you think you've got 10 of those or 12 of those, how much is, you want them to look, you want to look after them, so they're going to sit beautifully in these racks, aren't they? Um, so they're nice and safe, aren't they? So they're there, on, on dis either on display or on your shelf or on your windowsill, out of the way, but you know they're always there. And also, very easy, if you just throw them under the bed or if you're working in your bedroom or something like that, or put them in a drawer. How easy is it to just to snap a corner off? Where when you've got them lovely, beautifully set, set up like this, they're nice and safe, aren't they? Right. Let's go back. We'll be careful with my um, with my, my iron as well. The iron's flying out the door as well. It always does. Next. Yeah, yeah. I've got two pairs of scissors. No, no. Yeah, one of our new, one of our newest acquisitions. Prim Micro Serration Taylor Shears Gold Edition. They're not real gold, obviously. £39.99. Really, really good quality blades, those. Fabulous. You can feel how they're going to cut through. They're going to slice through the fabric. £39.99 by Prim. Micro Serration, you can't really see it, but on the... On the um, They've got a micro serrated edge there. So as it cuts through, it's, I don't want to sound, say it's like a David, Na David Attenborough thing, but you know what I mean? It's just going to slide through that fabric. These have been cleaned. These have been used. Uh, $39.99. Yours won't be used. Yours will be in a packet. Yours will be in a packet. So I'll put that over there. And then I've got these other prim scissors. So these, those, the gold ones are more classic. These are more ergonomic. See how much space you've got to put your fingers and your thumb in there. These are lovely soft touch handles here. Professional, 39 pounds and 99 pence. Also, they look like they've got a bigger blade as well. They've got a much bigger blade. 25 centimeters these, and those were 21. Right-handed scissors, yeah. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Okay, now this always lovely Irene brings us this. It is a, an automatic needle threader. We love it. Right now, I'm not going to do. Oh, I've got my glasses on. Come on, John, one job. Um, I'm not going to do the demonstration because I've got a little film for you to watch. So there you go. This is an ingenious little invention. The automatic needle threader for all types of needles, five pounds and 95 pence. Right, it's only a couple of minutes long this, isn't it? Have a watch of gorgeous Irene showing you how this works. Here we have the Infila needle threader, actually manufactured in Italy. Full instructions inside, step by step. And I take it out of its case and mount it on that base. There are two sides. The, the side with the white uh, cap is for smaller needles and the black side is for large needles. We lie the thread on there and most of us can't see the eye of the needle, let alone know which direction it's in. So we're just dropping it into the, into the actual hole there into the chimney. By sliding that button across, it turns the needle. So it's physically turning the needle and it finds the eye. And then it pushes the thread, or sim simultaneously in fact, um, through, the, through the side. So I then pull that thread through and I take the needle. What I didn't mention is we're not to put tension on the thread because by pulling the thread taut, that would actually stop it from working. So uh, loose thread, and needle 
free. Slide, release, pull, and take needle. Double thread, we actually don't need to double it. You, you just have equal length on either side. Again, dropping the needle in there, no special way. Slide the button, release it. Now, if that little loop doesn't come through, we do it again. There it is. Pulling that halfway this time, and you can stop at any stage, and that will be then double thread. So that's single thread, double thread. Now we'll do multiple thread. And this is for the people who do blending, when, um, especially for cross stitch. You may want to put several strands through the same eye, but usually we would use a longer, a bigger and wider eye than that. But I've just got the little one. I'm trying to show off basically. So I'm going to have to do this in stages. So just whatever comes through, I'm pulling it. And without my glasses, I think I have two. And I'm now going to go for the third one. Notice I'm just actually gu not guiding it, but realigning it to get the third one because that's quite a big ask to get three threads through that tiny little eye. So now if we can mention um, the other side, and that's for larger needles. So longer needles and um, wider diameter. Needle in, in the black side this time. And then it's the bottom button, but because this is quite um, tough and rough and fibrous, I'm hitting it a couple of times and I want to really make sure to pull it all through so that it doesn't split. And that's the big needle. Ribbon, wool, shearing elastic even, anything big and bulky but with an appropriate size needle, of course. And just pulling that through. And there we have that there. Even um, an upholstery needle or a sail maker's needle. Um, again, something appropriate, maybe a string or the like, and just pulling it firmly through. So small needles in the white side and large needles in the black side. If and when you've finished with the tool, we can actually then just store it away, take it off its, uh, its base, store it away, and that's a needle, a uh, case rather, in which to store your needles. And that's the Infila needle threader been made in Italy since 1952. Oh, just scratching my nose there. Um, ideal, ideal as a gift. If you've already got one, buy one for a friend. Absolutely ideal, but check out your basket. Right, I've got a couple of things to tell you. Before I go on to anything here, come back over here with me, come over here with me. These, remember we had hundreds of these when we started the, uh, 39 minutes ago in this hour. How many say we're left 15? Less than 15 now. There were 15, at the beginning of Irene's thing, there were 15 left, right? Three minutes later, there's less than 15 now. So if you want the little one, you need to check out. You need to check out. That's 6 99 If you missed it, it's a four slot ruler to keep your creative grids or your rulers in like that. Ideal, that's the 25 centimeter one. Right, now this one, we had more stock of this one. Hundreds. Over a third of these have gone already. This is stock that was supposed to last and last and last because it's something that people are asking for all the time. People are multi-buying. Yeah, we'll get Harriet to reorder those earlier than we thought because they're flying out. Okay, that one's 9 99 for five slots, 50 centimetres. You don't get the rulers, obvious, obvious. Now, the other thing I need to... Somebody just emailed in saying... John, though, what's so special about those scissors that are just showing me? The serrated edge, what you can do, they're both, they're both got serrated edges, they've both got serrated edges. They're micro serrated edges, so these are ideal for all fabrics, but especially if you use jersey, because the micro serration just slices through those fibres, like butter, like absolute butter. Now, you can use them for everything. You can use them for everything. My shears have got serrated edges. My big old-fashioned tailor shears have got serrated edges. 39 pounds, so these are 39.99. These are the gold handled ones. These are 21 centimeters. And then we also had it in the 25 centimeter. 
which is this one. Again, I know this one's not coming out of the packet, but as you cut with them, you can feel the serration. It's almost like a mini, 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 mini pinking shear. Do you know what I mean? That's the serration edge. Obviously, it's not going to. You're not going to see it because they're so micro. They're 39.99 as well, and they are the 25 centimeter one. They're just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, moving on. Oh, while I'm here, I'll do Irene's other two things, right? This, very quickly, you could have this as a pen. In, oh, don't put it in your pen pocket if you've got a pacemaker, by the way, because um, it's magnetic. It's magnetic, right? Ready? Right, because we think, oh, I've dropped my keys. Come on. Oh, that's, oh. I'm only doing that to show you the weight that it can lift up. So lift it on that tiny little key, look. It's like a suitcase key. Well, I didn't pick that one. That's the one it grabbed first of all. So, and we don't know, this is the new boys, right? We don't know if putting a magnet next to your car thingy, you know, like, anyway. Yes. <laughs> anyway, oh, look, you pick it, look. You drop your bodkins, pick them up, yeah? I haven't got any pins to pick up. Nobody's had dropped any pins today. See, if Janice had been in, I could be doing this now, couldn't I? There's nothing. There's no pins, no nothing. It is too tidy. It's, so, so, someone's, po someone's pointed... Um, no, someone's... Oh, I've got... The drawing pins. You see, it's ideal for just pick... Look. Oh, no. No, no, you wouldn't have to pick that. It's only, it only picks up two because there are only two under there. Uh, putting them in a magnetic dish bag. <laughs> so you've dropped your pins. Oh, dropped my pins on the floor. It's brilliant. I love this. Ready? Oh, I've dropped my pins again. But I can't quite reach... Oh, I'll just get my Irene telescopic thingy thingy out before 95. The thingy thingy telescopic magnetic retrieval pen. Doesn't write. You can't write with it. You can't write with it. But also, if you don't want, if you don't want a retrieval thingy thingy, how about a magnetic dish? Right, this is brilliant. What? Oops, ready? Ready? I missed him one. Anyway, you can keep it as a pin cushion. So what you do is while you're doing your fitting, just throw the pin towards the bowl and the bowl will catch it. Right? Oh, watch, 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 watch. No, no, no. I don't mean throw. The, look, right, so you're here. You're doing a fitting, right? You're pinning something. Pin, 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 pin. You go, oh, finish that pin. Oh, I'll finish that pin. Oh, ah, oh, no. All the other, that was just a rebel. That's the John Scott pin, that one. Yeah, there you go. But the even better thing about this is if you've got... Oh, uh, you can... It, so... <laughs> 4 95 I think it's brilliant. OK, that's all of Irene's um, little gadgets today. Oh, somebody wants to see the iron. Of course you can. I don't think that you could pick up the... Oh, no, what you could do... Oh, you can't see. Look, this shows how strong... This, no, no, it just shows how strong... Right, right, ready? It shows how strong the telescopic magnetic retrieval pen is. Like, oh, I can't quite reach my trolley. Yes, Joe Carter would love these because she wouldn't have to move from her desk once, would she? In fact, you know what Joe Carter would do? She'd put a magnet in the clothes, uh, children's clothes, and be like, like that. And just the children would come, get the children in. Oh, right, let me put that back there. Right, well, come on, let's get on. Iron. We did see it earlier, but somebody's just asked to see it again. Uh, always sells out whenever we show you this. Um, this is how yours will arrive. That's how it'll arrive in the package. Right, this is brilliant. I love this, I love this, I love this. So, it's got a long... 
You've only got 15 minutes to go. She's ordering coffee now. So she wants a latte, skinny latte with vanilla. Um, anyway, long, 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 long cord. Uh, then here, on the top here, you've got your little uh, rubber stopper there. That's where you put your water in because it's a steam iron. You've then got here the uh, levels of your water within. Steam on, steam off. Steam on, steam off. Dial there with the temperature. Little red lights tell you, it goes, the red light goes off when it's ready. You've got the um, cable clip there to hold the cable in place. Um, and then, <laughs> steam on, steam off. Steam on, steam off. It's a very, very, very good steam iron. 39 pounds and 99 pence. Um, also, also, um, a lot of ladies, like I said earlier, who have just um, uh, got um, dexterity problems said it's brilliant to use like that because you haven't got to do the clinging on. You just can't. It is good. And I have, done a, I have done a shirt. I've ironed, not this shirt, obviously, but I've ironed a shirt with it. Right, OK. Oh, iron cleaner. Now, this is a very boring to watch. But you know that time... If you've not used your Teflon, um, if you've not used your Teflon iron cloth and you get Bondaweb or you get starch or you get something on your iron, you get that awful brown, claggy bit at the bottom, right? What you need to do is use this. You heat your iron up, you take the top off your iron cleaner and then you literally just paint this onto the bottom of your iron. Now you need to do it somewhere, oh dear, you need to do it somewhere where there's lots of ventilation because the, the smoke that comes off it is acrid, right? And you need cloths ready to wipe the bottom of your iron and also don't do it on your ironing board because what happens is you... No, 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 you have to do it while it's hot. You have to do it while it's hot. You've got a cloth. So literally, you get your cloth and you have to still do it while it's hot otherwise if it dries on, it, the stickiness will stay there. So you do it with the iron switched on. You do it with the iron switched on. You go like that. This all melts away onto your iron. All this brown, acrid gunk comes off. You wipe it straight away. Like I say, don't do it on your ironing board because the brown gunk that runs down the iron will go straight onto your ironing board. Somebody did it here at the beginning. They cleaned it um, and left all the, the gunk on the bottom of the iron on the ironing board. And then um, both the same day, no, two days in a row, Jennifer... Taylor and Natasha both ironed something on the ironing board and got all the gunk on their clothes. So don't do it. Put newspaper down. Put something down like that to stop it. But it's brilliant. But you must be in a um, vent well-ventilated room. Now, this has been around for donkey's years. Absolutely donkey's years. Because when I first started, that's what we used to use to clean irons. So it just shows, doesn't it, that... Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right, so that's that. And then uh, pressing cloth. Somebody wants to see the... Not pressing cloth. A uh, blanket. The blanket. This is the one we use here, or we've been using here all morning. Um, it, we, yeah, we, we just fold it in half for space, but you, which you can do, it's two-sided. So you've got the cotton side, this side. With Now, obviously, I'm not, you wouldn't use these for um, precise measurements or precise angles, but if you need to check something, then they're there on that side. Or you can use this side, which is the side we use, which is just like in your normal... Um, Iron pad on the table. £24.99. pence. Yours does come all wrapped up. It was just that we didn't have one um, sent to us. This well, we had one sent the other day and somebody opened it for me to use and then it's here now. So £24.99. The first time we did this, it completely actually sold out. It is brilliant though. If you haven't got an ironing board or if you haven't got room in your workroom for an ironing board, it is fantastic. Because you could just, even if you're doing small pieces, you see, you could keep that in the corner of your desk with your prim iron, ready to go. Oh, this is what it looks like when it arrives. Oh, right, let's have a look then. That's interesting. Interesting little picture. I don't, Hannah's got to think about this. We have this in... Uh, it is a brilliant Christmas present, but it's not Christmas anymore. It's a brilliant present, though. Um, it's a silicone present. Now, my ironing board, I bought a very posh ironing board, and you get, you get one of these free with it because uh, it's still at home, the ironing board. 
My ironing board does not have a tray to keep the iron in at the end, so this one's it. Now, this is brilliant for a normal shaped iron because you can sit it like this, or, so it's gonna, it's gonna take, the, it's silicon basically, so it absorbs the heat. Or, if you wanna put it down like this and you've got it on steam, this, isn't, this one's not on, this one's not on now. But if this does happen to steam, when you're not, all the, the moisture rests on there and doesn't sit on the iron, do you know what I mean? It doesn't get your iron all claggy and wet and everything like that. Five, nine, I've said that a few times. Oh, sorry. It's a northeastern term, north, northeastern, Geordie term. Anyway, 5.99. Boring to look at, I know it's boring to look at, but an essential, an essential for your um, ironing essentials, really. Next. <gasps> Can't we do this? Ramp. Oh, no, that's sold out. Oh, never mind. Uh, Liberty pin cushion. Liberty pin cushion, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Liberty Lilac Mamie pair pin cushion, £12.50. It's cute, isn't it? Now, you see, we do sell two other pa uh, another pair and two apples, and they look lovely in a bowl together just as decoration. That's what I think, anyway. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really cute. No one knows. I wouldn't want to stick pins in it, really, either. I'm going to, though, just to show you. There you go. Now, it's a prickly pear, or a pawpaw, or a prickly pear. Who sang that? Bare necessities of life. Yeah, bare necessities of life will come to you. 12 pounds and 50 pence. 12 pounds and 50 pence. You don't get the three pins with it, obviously. Liberty box. Now, this has been so popular. We have been talking about this a lot. Now, um, these are, they've done, have we only got the one now? I've only got the one now. We had it in a different colourway, didn't I? Uh, Liberty Lilac Expanding Sewing Box, £29.99. Isn't it lovely, right? Lift the lid. Open the box. Open the box. You see? Everything, it all comes included. All comes included. Now, the pink cushions, the theme of the day, isn't it? Pink cushions. You've got buttons, you've got needles, you've got needle threader, you've got threads, you've got tape measure, you've got thin, oh, what's in that pocket? Thimble, you get a uh, quick unpick, lovely little snippy scissors. Oh, it's empty in the picture, you don't get anything in there. 29.99. I think that, th I think, well, I think, um, if, you're, if you do sewing, but you sew in one of the rooms in your house and you haven't got time to put everything away, you see, that's going to look gorgeous on your sideboard, on your mantelpiece, isn't it? Or just somebody who lives, uh, uh, not, somebody who doesn't do lots of sewing, but needs a, you know, like that little sewing kit that you need when a button pops off or when a zip bursts or something like that. Really lovely house, uh, housewarming present would be lovely, wouldn't it? £29.99. And it's the Liberty fabric, and it's from the new range of Liberty fabric as well. Gorgeous. Yes. I've got the chalk wheel right here. So, if you use Taylor's chalk a lot, and you know that it gets all, um, you get chalk all over your hand, right? This is brilliant because this is filled, this is filled with chalk. And it's got a, like a, a turning wheel on there. So, look, oh, that's blurred a bit, that one. Off. Brilliant. I'm going for the smoky-eyed look today, obviously. Anyway, how much is it? £5.49. Fill it with chalk. Um, mark your chalk lines, mark your notches, mark your patterns. Five pounds and 49 pence. Pattern weights. Okay. Now what's inside the pattern weights, I'm asking? No, nothing metallic. Right. 
for pattern weight. So if you do putting your pattern down, it's a bit breezy. We've got the air con on. Something like that. 12 pounds. Oh, you've got the window open in summer. And you cut your table next to the window. 12 pounds and 50 pence. No. 12 pounds and 50 pence for the four. All four. OK, let's go over to set two very quickly. Round up the menus. Round up the rulers. The small one, 25 centimetre. Four slot. Loads of these have gone. Oh, no, it's not the ruler. Six pounds and 99 pence. Ruler rack, four slot, 25 centimetres. No, less than 10. There's less than 10 of those left now. OK, and then very quickly, the larger one, which is the 50 centimetre one. People are multi-buying these, by the way, just so you know. Lots in baskets. You need to check out your basket. I'll get Harriet to reorder them all in when I go off now. Nine ninety-nine, five slot, fifty centimeters wide. Loads of you in baskets. We can't tell how many you've got in your basket. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Natural wood colour. Right. Should we look at tomorrow's menu? I'm not in. I'm not in now till Friday. I've just come in for one day, and now I'm off again till Friday. 8 o'clock, creative grid selection. Oh, they might have some rulers. Um, 9 o'clock, tartan wrap top with Jennifer Taylor. Oh, got ages. 10 o'clock, everything under £15. Oh, and then at 11 o'clock, they've got the Sashko Masterclass, which is I wanted to do that. Masterclass. Masterclass. <laughs> that I wanted to do. Right, very quickly before I go, before I go, we've got a competition. Remember, it's our birthday on the 31st of January. So uh, you've got one of the things, birthday block bonanza, we've got lots of knots lined up, but this is one that you can get involved with. Uh, we'd like you to make a 12 inch finished or 12 and a half unfinished block. Anything you want, plique, patchwork, any, anything, English paper piecing, anything you want to do. You won't get it back, however, because we're going to make it into a quilt. Four or five people will, win, no, three or four people will win prizes. Has to be in by the 20th, and then there's a panel of judges will judge the best and win the prize. But you won't get it back. That's the most important thing. It has to be about 20th. Go to Terms and Conditions on the website, and that, that will tell you, uh, at the bottom page, front page, that will tell you where to send it to and all the rules and everything like that. How many? Oh, I'm exhausted today. It's been knackering today, hasn't it? Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Anyway, thanks ever so much for your company. As I say, I'm not out in now till Friday, but then when I am on Friday, I'm in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Day off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So if you don't like me, go on holiday. I'll, be, I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for your company today. Lots of love. Join Jennifer Taylor on Tuesday the 9th of January for a Sashko Masterclass. At 11am, Jennifer will demonstrate this stunning Japanese hand quilting technique with our Sashko Starter Kit. Sashko means little stabs and it is created by decorative running stitches sewing with white and metallic threads on navy fabric. We'll be offering a selection of Sashko fabric bundles and the perfect book Japanese quilting by Hiromitsu Takano to help you expand your skills. We'll also have some brand new exclusive designs perfect for your next Sashko project. You'll be amazed by the variety of effects that you can create with just a single thread. So tune in for this exciting show on Tuesday the 9th of January at 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.